What is up, everybody? Alrighty. So, let me clear out my invites, and then we'll let people... Now, if you want to use your unit against Luvia, I have I gotta stress this. It has to be in the all slot. I'm not doing that song and dance again. But, uh, I'm gonna get rid of all my invites, that way I know anyone that sends uh, an invite is here in the stream right now. And I'll put up my code. And then we'll see what we get. Some of these people I'm removing are probably in the stream right now, but what are you gonna do? The Great Purge. I recognize so many of these names. The music knows. That was not Golden Sumo on that coup that I just saw, by the way. Alright, any of these that I don't need. And if you're already on my friends list, same deal, just put it in the all slot. Okay. Alright, there's the code, there's also the command in chat. The uh, exclamation point FCNA, so you can get it that way. All right, but we're not actually at the Luvia fight yet, so you got a minute. We're uh, one chapter before it. And Vert Fire, Verti Fire, Vert Eye Fire, thank you for the, the five months. That is a long time. Thank you, guys. All right. Um, let's see what we're doing here. Hey, Rabbit. And hey, Persona. But the 28 months casually. If you Do you have an NA account, Persona? Because if you do, that would be a good time. I've actually wanted to use your Sitting Master on JP several times on stream. Uh, what do we want to do here? Do Shakespeare, Chin Gong, just for the battery. Got finals coming up, understandable. Good luck with that. Ox King, I think. Such a nice craft essence. I wish we had a quick equivalent. Alright, back row shouldn't matter. Sad my switch Mystic Code's not 10, but NA, not my main. I got my driver's license? Nice. Now don't go off and crash. Oh, shit. Hi, Canis. I had no idea we were at that part. Well, let's uh, see how this goes. This is... This is the first fight with her. Oh, I see the, the it's question mark. You know, I wish they had programmed this if you happen to have another servant that was blessed by a water god that you could do damage to her. They didn't want the cat out of the bag on that one and everything, but that would have been really cool. Well, I can turn one NP, but there's not really any point in doing that. We'll make all these stars, though. Chat, I wonder what Canis is gonna say. Wow, I would never have seen that coming. That was very surprising. 
pretty sure in this fight you just have to survive. That's kind of interesting. The NPC Canis here actually is not working exactly like regular Canis. Her uh, apply, her attack, her, when she applies the effect on her attack, it, she's only doing the attack down. She doesn't actually give herself the attack up. And you can see that when she's attacking, she's not getting an attack up bonus. So like right now, her second skill is actually nerfed and all it's doing is the, uh, let's see, bonus effect on attack, apply a state where you decrease attack on a single enemy when attacking, increase your, it says it increases your own attack, but it's not doing that. Cause like when she attacked, it didn't, she didn't show an icon that she was getting an attack boost. You know what? I just won't do any damage, but let's see if Shakespeare can get a BM stun off. Oh, hey, Say, thank you for the 40 bits. That's a lot of bits. Almost two quarters there. Yeah, pre Canis is kind of messed up. Say it wouldn't give me nickels. Say it's better than that. I'm immune to stun, apparently. I don't know why she lost her shield there, because she, lo she loses it in the fight with Orion in a second. Who do we want to use for this? I see you lost. Trying to sneak that in there. And Tara, 196, thank you for the 11 months, basically a year. That's also a long ass time. Yeah, Atlantis is a cool story. Uh, I want to read the official translation myself because I've only read fan translations, uh, but I'll do that later. But I'm really wanting to do that. Oh, I can't use... I ha that's right, you have to use Orion. Well, we could always use Mordred again. What else do we got? There's Herc. Pretty sure that would work. Hmm. Billy, I wish. Could do Beowulf. I, I could probably try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see if we can make Beowulf work. Let's see. So Orion has got. I can't remember if he has to NP then hit her or just hit her. I, I know he's got to do some such though. Uh, we'll do Chen Gong. I, oh, I wonder why. I think Orion has taunt in this fight. You can actually win with Orion if you buff and support him. I wonder if I could start with Beowulf on the field. Nerd, how dare you? You fucking geek. Let's see. Uh, yeah, actually, let's start with Beowulf. If he's got Taunt, it should be fine. Toxic. Okay, maybe then switch Mystic Code, Star Bomb, Mozart. There we go. That's a lot of that's a lot of Beowulf stuff right here. There we go. Hey, there's a quarter. Thanks, say. All right, this should work. I, I could have put like who in the back, but whatever. I would slot my Orion for Luvia, but he's level 60 and I don't have hero proofs to ascend him. Damn. It's always hero proofs, man. You know, wash out that quarter. And who doesn't like quarters? 
Wow, triple attack up, 10 turns each. That's where the, you could have buff removal or uh, the command code, and then she'll probably hit for so much less. Did they put a name on it? Yeah, there we go. Blessing of the Sea God, there you go. Alrighty. If I remember correctly, until her invulnerability is gone, uh, I'm pretty sure she does way less damage to Orion, and then when it's gone though, then she'll like melt him. Yeah, so he can hit her just right off the bat. Also, did he just fail a 90% crit? What the hell? I know someone had a high crit chance and no one crit, so, um, hmm. Some things never change. I wonder if you just give your unit a Pierce and Vulnerability CE, what happens? What a riveting moveset that she has. I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. Did zero damage except for the divinity flat attack? Interesting. So there's more to it than just the invincibility. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's right. It automatically breaks her first health bar. What the hell did you do? What a name for a skill. Look at him getting melted. Let's see what this one's called. Just charge plus each turn. Wow, that's awfully gamey. Man, I wish Orion had gotten at least something like Bustery here. See, now I could have stunned. Alright, well now it's Beowulf time. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. I, dude, those command codes that remove attack buffs, though, would make this fight so much easier. Like, this is why she kills people so quick, but you can just get rid of it. Or you could Medea, but... Oh, Medea. Man, if Beowulf could NP right now, that would be so good. I kind of forgot about that. I'm having to wait so long to do anything with Beowulf. Alright, you know what? Do this for the crit down. Enough of this waiting around. Oh, I could have I could have chin gonged Orion. That would have sped things up a bit. All right, he probably just does the NP here, and then we go for crits on the next one. One seventy five. Two Buster buffs. I'll do this. All right, as long as this breaks, I think we'll kill next turn. As long, well, we'll need a Buster card. Honestly, these days for just straight buff removal, Alex normally is better than Medea because he also at least gives the team the attack up and the quick up. And actually, if he charms, it's really good. The only time Medea is better is if you need her debuff clear. Which, it can be good, can be good, but Medea's gonna do like 14k damage, which, I mean, who cares?
All right, Ching Gong's back. I should have saved his taunt then. And I got, come on, I'm just restarting. I'm sure we'll win, but this is just so unsatisfying. Like we're just sitting around doing nothing. Nice deck shuffle, good God. Like I'm sure we were still gonna win because I, I saw guts and everything, but that was just lame. I don't actually need the switch mystic code. Might do Anniversary Blonde instead. I just have to remember to use Chen Gong. Eh, I don't mind the switch though, because you can get an extra turn out of... Do you want an extra turn out of Orion though? That actually might be bad. Uh, we'll see. I wish they had made this fight though really hard. Like, that would have balanced out Lost Belt 5-1 a lot better. And it's, uh, Lost Belt 5-1 only has like two good fights, like really good fights. And uh, I wish it had at least like four. That would really help. I almost want to save that. I need to level that skill up so the cooldown's shorter. I normally prioritize that quite a bit. I just haven't uh, really paid attention to NA. All right, well that at least gets Beowulf about done, so I can just focus on getting rid of the bar. Amazing damage. I am legitimately sad though that they did not use that voice line for Canis for any of her attacks when she's playable. Thankfully, the magic of editing can fix that, but still. Okay, we'll break right here. I, I don't know if I want to do that with him or not. When I think about it, but eh, we'll see what happens. The, like the final fight with Cerberus, that's a, de that's a decent fight. It's not super hard, but it's okay. You can have fun with it. Uh, the Charlotte, the Charlotte fight's pretty good, and then the Poseidon fight is good. And that's about it. I'm the bonker. The sad thing is this damage is irrelevant because the bar just breaks on its own. Crit! Crit! Not a crit! There you go. 10k! Oh yeah, that'll get him. Okay, I actually have our thing this time. Let's... Save the taunt. That was a pretty big mistake last time. I gotta do 235 this time, which is more. Probably didn't need one of those buffs, like at least the Mystic Code attack up I could have saved, because we overkilled quite a bit there.
What? Was her skill name Incarnation of Butterfly? What? I'm not sure. I, I didn't see it on screen very long, so I'm not sure I read that right. Cause I just saw something. I wasn't even trying to read it. So, but like, okay, but that makes way more brutality. I was like, what the hell? I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, brutality makes a lot more sense. I was like, that was like the least accurate uh, skill name if it was Butterfly. Hmm. Could do the crit thing right now, which would do a lot of damage and get a lot of MP gain. I don't, I, I'll do it. I don't think Beowulf has his third skill upgrade yet. Yeah, I'm glad I did it there because it's next. All of his cards are in the third hand, but we're probably never gonna see the third hand. Although I can stun. You know what? That's actually probably worth it because I know the next hand is decent. Dude, a Leonidas animation update has got to be soon, right? Like, the Babylonia anime was like two years ago. Like, come on, guys. Although, maybe if I'd done the Star Absorb right now, actually, that would have been better. Because double critting with a Buster Chain would have been really good. I'm honestly surprised it took them so long. This did not, this still wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. We're definitely gonna win, but... The deck is just shuffling in terrible ways. Oh, I did use my second skill the wrong turn, though. And the deck sh still shuffles in a shitty way for us. Do I bust her up now? Well, no, there's a chance that he won't. Now, here, here's what we do. Yeah, we win next turn. Just had to crit me there. Pretty sloppy, but... Can we get a BM stun? Now, if you wanted to stun, you would put the Shakespeare NP after Beowulf's, but if Beowulf does his NP, she's dead. So there we go. That's the good stuff. See, now she can't dodge. That's how it works. I actually think that'd be cool if stun had the effect of removing evade, but not invulnerability. They don't really need to do that, though, because evade is already worse than invulnerability, and that would make it even worse than invulnerability, so not really necessary. Now, if they had made Pierce invulnerability, they'll only work on invulnerability and not evade, then that would be fair. I actually wish they had done that, because there are some abilities in, like, Fate that should be able to get around evade and invulnerability. Uh, Kane is having a bad day. Um... But a lot of them don't. Like, a lot of things that appear in vulnerability would be dodgeable, right? So they really should have had Sure Hit only work on Evade, Pierce and Vulnerability only work on Invulnerability, and then have another one that works on both, and then just make that one really rare. I think that'd be a lot more interesting gameplay-wise. You okay, Gainus, <laughs> indeed. Oh shit, we're about to get blasted here. I've read that part several times with fan translations, but I definitely want to read the official one. 
I'm not gonna bother seeing how far we can get because this account doesn't have any meta supports anyway, and uh, yeah, it don't really matter. So we'll just uh, get it over with. I don't want to get to Luvia, that's the good stuff. Uh, that's right, you have to bring her. I think you have to just last like five turns or something, I don't really remember. You get Bond, because you technically lose, so it wouldn't shock me if uh, you don't get Bond. Gonna get space dunked, yeah, that's about right. Yeah, the only way to air, air quotes beat this stage is to take multiple days to do it. You basically have to use CS and then stop playing the game, wait for CS to come back and so on and so forth. That's really dumb. And I, honestly, I don't even think the devs thought of that at all. I, I think uh, they intended for that not to be possible and then they're, later they're like, oh shit. Oh right, he does that. I think he does that when you fight him again for real uh, in Lost Ball 5 too. Uh, there's a lot of ways around that, but I didn't really bring a team uh, with that in mind. This is where uh, some different Mystic Codes would have been better. There's some team-wide buffs from Mystic Codes you can do. You know, if I had let Hans in P turn one, that'd be a good way to get rid of some of these. Got two left. Offensive stuff doesn't even matter. One left. Uh, I have. I hate to get rid of the taunt, but that's probably the thing to do. Ah, we can get rid of the guts. You can also bring command, uh, command codes that have team-wide buffs. It's another way to get help get rid of them easily. Okay. Wish Leonidas had gotten his art card, but it's in the third hand. Man, I would love, um, I would have done this too if, uh, like the timing had worked out. But uh, I've already got like Wadim's NP recorded just in case I ever need it for a video or something. But I would love to do, like, you know, Wadim's NP versus, like, Leonidas's NP if Leonidas got a fucking animation update. But, uh, here we are a million years later and he still doesn't have an animation update. Uh, even the back row people get it. That's really nasty. It really isn't winnable. Like, it's not a reasonable thing to have to take days. I mean, it literally takes, like, four days to beat this stage, minimum. And then not only that, but you have to have very specific units that are all very whaley, so... For, I'd say, like, 95% of the player base, no matter what they do, this stage is completely impossible to beat. Like, no matter how good you are, no matter how lucky you get, no matter how much you min-max, it'd be completely impossible. 
and then for everyone, it is impossible to beat the stage in like one attempt, right? You, you can't, you have to wait days. Because uh, you basically have to cheese it, right? You, you do something that is kind of obviously not supposed to happen. I forgot the Pearson vulnerability, so I should have brought a different setup. There's a lot of better ways to stall here. I don't think it's 99. I don't think only 1% of the player base has the units that you need to beat it. Um, but it's not very many. I, I actually really fucked up, though, with the units I brought because of that... Uh, Here's some vulnerability, I totally forgot about that. Don't worry though, uh, Han's got the, uh... The quick up. I can get to the final bar though on the main account. It's actually not very hard to do that if you use strong stuff. And I have strong stuff, I just don't normally use it. Um, but you know, I've, I've got waiver and... Scatty and all that nonsense, and that's good enough to get to the final bar. It's actually not that hard to get to the final bar, because, like, he doesn't have anything to, like, you know, once you get past the gimmick with the buff block, it, you, you can shred his health pretty quick. It's not like he has, like, a giant defense up or anything. I love this MP, though. Yeah, it just skips the ending screen entirely. Yeah, maybe he'll be summonable someday, but even if that's going to be the case, I doubt it'd be anytime soon. Oh, there's Guadia. Saving our butts. So, Wadim there will deactivate, uh, still having a good time, but uh, Wadim will deactivate Necromancy. So clearly he, he fears Necromancy. There we go. I think I think they were fighting her right now. I think this is it. All right, let's look at our invites. Although I don't know, you might fight her twice. This could be like a joke battle with her. This is this only costs five AP, but that might be the real one. I don't know. That's gonna suck, dude. On JP, if you do this fight, it only it costs like way less AP permanently, like any stage does. Where in NA, these stages still cost a crap load of AP. Okay, I got I gotta look this up because I I uh. And if this is the real one, that means on JP, this would cost like one AP. Okay, let's see here. My God, I forgot how many chapters this was. It's 28 chapters, jeez. Okay, this is the real fight with her. Yeah, okay. That's good that it only costs five AP though, so we won't be getting completely destroyed. All right, remember whatever you want to use, make sure it's in the all slot. Okay, we got that. We could start with the uh, with that with Beastly's. Well, we'll add one person from here though. Okay, look at you not being ten, ten, ten. What what are you doing here? Trying trying to face Luvia with Luvia, and you're not even ten, ten, ten. Test test test. Let's see though, what, what do we got? We got a we got a Gramps, got a big Gramps there. Got uh Deer mid with the anti-divinity. Getting meta here. That that poor that that Rama dude. There's no world where Rama beats this. I'll be interested to see how far he gets though. Uh, we got a few Masashis, we got an Okita there. Not MLB on that CE. We got some cool stuff. Oh man, oh, there's a there's a much bigger Luvia right there. Uh, look at that uh, Black Bart though. If only he was uh, good. All right, let's start. Let's start with uh, Beastlies because I mean that's a classic, and then we'll uh, 
We'll look at like what else we got. <laughs> Some of these are really hopeful, <laughs> like Charlotte. That's a really upgraded Charlotte though. You gotta respect the effort here. He's even got faux paws. Let's see if uh, uh let's see if he's got 2k faux. I, I would imagine he does. She's got her eyes closed because she knows what's coming. Okay, not 2k foed yet, but on the way. Almost halfway. What is Lost got? I wonder if Lost has uh, Luvia on on NA. Zelos does. Jesus, Zelos has got the biggest one so far. He's got MP5, 10, 10, 10. Jeez. Uh, okay, let's do Fujino though. Said Beastly logged in like seconds ago, so the fact that he's not on my list right now is kind of stupid. I assume she wants Atlas here. I have not done this fight in a long time. One of my favorite solos, I, actually I think my favorite solo I did against Luvia was Spartacus because that, re that, that actually required a degree of like nuance and like figuring stuff out and playing in an abnormal way. It was very fun. Sadly, we can only do 20 invites at a time. There's just no way to have more than that. That's a lot of fun stuff to try though, I don't know where to start. But I figured Fujino is a completely fair place to start. My only 10-10-10 unit is MASH, you, got, you gotta work on that. You got time, alright. Hmm. I almost want to make stars more than doing the two cards. But I guess we'll do damage, it could matter. What I wish you could do is I wish when people followed you, you could cl click a different tab and then see all the people that are following you and then you could you could click their units like through that. Like obviously, you know, most people wouldn't bother, but that would be really nice. That would, uh, I would use it all of the time. Because then people could just follow me, right? And then you, they don't have to work. Because I think what happens a lot is people can't even get their invite through because before they send it, 20 people have already done it. And that, that sucks. What I'm gonna do is when I add somebody to use their unit, once we're done, I'm gonna delete them just so we have like more space for other people to send them in. So keep that in mind. Like right now, my invite box is 20 out of 20. But as soon as I add someone, it's going to go down to 19, and so you can send one in. But you're going to have to be pretty fast, and you got to remember stream delay and all that kind of nonsense. But, all right. So Fujino does not have her MP buff on an A, so this is not even max power Fujino right now. Uh, I think I'm going to make the stars and then go see where they go to determine what I do here. Do we have a defense removal? I don't think we do. What am I talking about? She has fucking... It's Fujino. Why, w why would Fujino need... Uh, why would she need a niche from command codes? Because of course, she has armor ignore, and she's got buff block, and she's got sure hit, you know, because she needs these things. Um, okay, so I could do BBB and get the NP up and do more damage. Uh, I could do NP art art, which is a higher crit chance. I would definitely do that if we had the Merlin off cooldown, but I think I'm going to do it anyway because I think Luvia's hit count is decent and we actually have a, a okay chance of looping here. So that is a tip though, if you want to give your unit a better chance, give them command codes to deal with Luvia's defense up especially, but also her attack up. Now you might not want to use your respec items for that, which fair enough, but if you do want to give your unit the best chance, not all units, but a lot of units will benefit from that. Because Luvia's um, skills are actually really nasty. I cannot believe that we did that much damage. That is ridiculous. And they, for some reason, buffed this unit. And then we took no damage. Because Luvia can kill you quite quickly. But uh, that doesn't seem to be happening. Let's, okay, I'll get my MP from being attacked here, so I'll do this. It's damage and stars. Okay. 
You know, Canis on JP would actually do really well here if she had a third passive, because her third passive for some reason is anti-ruler. Look at all that NP gain. So her hit count is so high. Hell, I, I didn't need to do that art art earlier. I could have done Buster Buster. Now I think we do art art though because the boss isn't in peeing again and uh, we got Merlin this time. But yeah, earlier I should have Buster Buster. We'd be in the exact same situation. We would have just done more damage. Also, we would made it would have made a few more stars. This Luvia didn't do her NP upgrade. True. This, this fight would be significantly harder if she had. She guarded the attack down. That sucks. Damn it. Can we get a crit? That would have been such a good art crit right there. We still had NP gain up. Why are we this tanky? And look, we can do it again. What a ridiculous unit. Try to make as many stars as possible, then do Star Bomb next turn. Dude, what I don't get is I remember when she came out, like, Beastly immediately was like, oh yeah, she's gonna be disgusting. And I remember, like, day one when she was released, a lot of people were like, man, she's so underwhelming. Like, how is she underwhelming? She's got, you know, three-turn Buster Up, three-turn NP Gain, three-turn Armor Ignore, three-turn Sure Hit, three-turn uh, uh, Damage Cut with no hit limit, because that's a good idea. Uh, you know, Guts, like, it, it buff block, attack down, like, that's so much stuff. But yeah, it was pretty much, uh, pretty much no battery, and that was what people were saying. And have you noticed that since adding Fujino, they have barely added anything that has uh, unlimited damage cut? H have you all noticed that? They always either make it one turn or they make it limited hits. Because it is ridiculous having unlimited hits in three turns for damage cut. Like, it's so stupid. Yeah, we got a the app. That'd be such a shame if I fucked that up right away. Dude, this wasn't even close. That, that this wasn't. I, I misplayed, and that was not even close. And she's great in team play. She has like really good. And she becomes even more tanky when she has teammates. Legitimately though, she's not great for farming, but I mean, there's so many single target units that aren't good for farming. That doesn't really mean anything. Like a lot of units are aimed at challenge quests and main story fights. That is a big David right there. Oh man, Persona no! Persona no! No, 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 no. Jesus, can you imagine if that was MP5? Can, can you imagine if that was NP5? Because then she gets, what is it, a 25% defense up? Right, or something like that? It's ridiculous. Like, NP1, it's only like 5% or some crap, and then it goes to like 15%, I think, at NP2. Uh, but yeah, like, that that gets so out of hand. God, fuck. She's probably better with the defense up, but I don't even know. Like, that's, that's a big heal right there. Um... Okay, let's look at our, our invites here. So once I accept somebody, you'll be able to send your own invite through, but uh... Alright, a lot of options. Okay, we're not doing Avenger. That's actually, I think, no wait, I think don't Avengers get bitch slapped? Don't they do 1.0 as well, still? So it doesn't matter. I, 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 what, what about taking damage? I don't remember if they still take, if they take half damage or not. I don't remember. Yeah, I think everything's neutral both ways. That, that sounds right. Okay, Rama's pretty tempting because that's really unique. Uh, Gramps is a good one. Uh, MHX, that's a good one. Uh, wow, MP5. Damn, I don't, you don't see that for MHX very often. That, that's really rare. That, that's really tempting right there. And all of the buffs. We might do that one first, we'll see. Or second, I guess. Nightingale. We'll, we'll probably do that one. That's kind of fun. 
Uh, Deer Mint's pretty tempting. I mean, I want to try a lot of these. Series. There's a lot of unique stuff here. Uh, I'm going to start with... I'm gonna, I'll do MHX. I think that's pretty unique. She might, she might be able to pull this off. Ninety-nine out of hundred. Uh, it's become a thing. Oh my god! Some of these. No, no, get out! No, i um, just get out. You fucking all. I, I, you forget. You forget. But he's there. He's always there. God, fuck off! I like how he used the seventy-one. God, get that shit out of here. Dude, some of the times he's just popped in out of nowhere. This is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Oblivion, if you're in chat, we might need you to log in because, you know, the support list in this game is awesome. Oh, Beastly with the other monster. I, I suspect she can do it too, and I think we did that on JP. She really is no joke. Uh, I'd actually be pissed if if the one that must not be named if if he beat this stage with a 70 coup because he would do it with that CE and I'd be mad if it worked with that CE because it's not worth it it's not the fact if it still happens to work doesn't mean it's actually good why did, and it looks it's 999 <laughs> what the fuck Cause yeah, he's oh my god! I, I love how he puts that one. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I, I wonder if Oblivion didn't actually get added. Sometimes people send invites, but then their list is full and it, does, it won't actually let you add them. Cause it's weird that I haven't gotten them this whole time. Let me check. No, he, he's there, and he just logged in. Wow, an account at 138, and you've got uh, MHX to that upgraded. That makes me think you, this might, you might not play NA like super actively, or you've been playing that long. But I feel like you have to have been playing long, so. I, I don't know why I can't get Oblivion. There we go, jeez. Pretty established account. That Yan, though, I'm, I'm guessing it's because MHX is normally in the Assassin slot. I'm pretty sure we've had this conversation before because I think I've looked at Oblivion's account when we did, a, uh, like when we looked at people's support lists. I'm pretty sure this something like this has happened in the past. I'm a little skeptical about this CE just because of like this, like doesn't give us any damage and such, but we shall, we shall see how it works out. It doesn't give you any attack though. It doesn't give you NP up. It doesn't give you uh, art up, quick up, uh, crit up, any of that. By the way, I almost just dropped my uh, cough drop. Thought I caught it. Like, I don't think we're gonna need that much NP gain. So the damage will be better, but we'll see. Because MHX already has pretty good NP gain, and the boss has a high hit count. I am so tempted to do that quick chain, because that's a lot of stars, but I think we need at least one art card. Alright. I actually think we fire everything. You don't normally do that with MHX, but I think this is right. She guarded it! Well, we, hopefully she doesn't guard the stun, because uh, that'd be bad. Anti-divinity there.
Sometimes against Luvia, it's better to not have starting NP. It just depends. Yeah, she's got Goddess Essence, but I don't think she has Magic Resist, so her chance to resist debuffs isn't that high, but she does have a, you know, more than some. See, oh my god, she guarded it. That's so bad. Oh my... That's lame. Um, but see, look, right here, we didn't loop, but if we didn't have that CE, we would still be close enough to getting our MP next turn, so we'd get our MP next turn either way. Although, it was possible that we could have looped there. That really sucks that I got guarded. That's a that's a big turn for us if we can stun. This removes crit damage, not crit chance, and she has crit chance, so that's unfortunate. I think I use Buster Card anyway, though. Got faux paw on that one, so I'll put it last. We still might win, but we definitely would have won if we had stunned there. Well, that's not good. At least our invulnerability is going to come back. With the way this one is going, I would have been better off uh, bringing default Mystic Code. Her damage is excellent, though. Because she's so upgraded. And she's got a good kit for just doing straightforward critting and NP spam. Wait, NA doesn't have a crit chance remove CE yet? Really? I swear there's so many of them. How do they not have one yet? Because there's like four of them on JP. That's crazy. Well, we're gonna die really soon, but we might be able to win before our time's up. The bed is Christmas, so that's really soon. So you're about to get that one at least. I, I, that's crazy. I thought one of those was pretty early on. I had no idea it took that long for them to add any. Damn, if we had looped there, we would have won. So also if her stun had landed, we would have won. So this is definitely winnable by her. You just need the stun or you need a little bit more damage. I guess I do... See, that quick card has plus 500 attack or like just like 450 or something because it's not maxed. I think we still use it over an art card though. I mean, well, let me think. This has 10% crit damage up, and this one has plus 20% damage. And then I think we put the quick card last because of the AP faux pas. I think that's right. It's close, but I think that is the most damage we can do. Very close. Is the 1k heal with Christmas? Because if it is, I've got to play that event. I can't miss that one. It is? Okay. Thankfully, that event was pretty smooth off memory. I don't think it was actually that hard to do. Let's try it one more time. I really do think, though, she could reliably win by that turn if she had a CE like uh, Drunken Jolter or uh, Golden Sumo or something like that. Also, that Christmas one that I think you're about to get, the, uh, uh, I think, I think that's this event. You're about to get that Christmas one that gives quick up and a full attack stat and 50% starting NP. I think NP gain, I think. That'd probably do the trick too. Dude, that Christmas event is loaded. Holy crap. Yeah, don't miss that event then. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. Like, I skip a lot of NA events, but I ain't skipping that one. Pretty fun challenge quest too, I remember. Yeah, that sucks you don't have the Christmas rewards then. Thankfully, though, it's Lost Belt 5-1 is not that big of a deal. 
If things are out of sync like that for 5-2, that would definitely be more annoying. Because 5-2 is uh, awesome and actually kind of hard. Do I NP even though I don't have the ideal hand for it? I think I do. Because maybe I get a lucky crit and then we get the NP charge from Scath dying. So maybe we loop. Very unlikely though because we don't get attacked any. The only way I think we would loop is if I quick crit and art crit. And even then I think we'd be cutting it close. And the odds of that are abysmal. But I think it's still worth it to get that damage in. That crit up is scary. Okay, we're guaranteed to crit, so... We do that number. I wish image I, I wish MHX would have gotten a proper animation update instead of a, a half C. Oh, that one wasn't a guard. That one was a miss. Oh, why is that a thing? Well, now it's a damage race. Good luck, sport. I actually kind of want to art art because at 100% crit. Means I won't necessarily crit next turn though. I actually think I do this then. This is enough damage this turn that I might not actually need the crits next turn. I only did that though because of the 100% crit chance. Shame we didn't have that NP up command code there. That would have been good. That kind of turn though does not happen very often for her. I should have swapped those cards around because of the foe. Foe pause. Airy, what the hell? <laughs> Okay, we looped and then some. This is what I'm talking about though. Like, I do not think this CE is good because we always either don't get our NP and but we get it next turn with or without it, or we over gauge. Like, I, I've never seen a time where it has actually made a, a difference. We didn't get as fucked up when she hit us earlier, so we might not... We might not die next turn. Actually, we might be able to win next turn. We've actually done more damage this time. Yeah, this is going exactly the same. It just it looks like we're a bit ahead on damage. Well, I could give her a crit down. Oh no, her, her thing went away, so I can't give her a crit down. She has to have the crit damage up to apply it. So I want to win this turn. So I think I do this again. Ready to zeet the app? Yep, thanks Solo. So I, I can never be reminded too much of that kind of thing. I'm not convinced she's actually killing here though. So I think anyone can see, if she lands the stun, we win. Because we might still survive this turn, but like we, we wouldn't have to gamble if we landed the stun. Don't, 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 don't. Woo, boy. Okay, well she got it, even without the stun. Just uh, a little close. The Nobu command code doesn't have the faux pas, and then it's a quick card, so it has a lower multiplier than an art card. Okay.
That was pretty cool, though. Oh, what next? What next? That is such a big David. That That is like, what the fuck? Let, let me see here. So this person is just deaf. There's no world. Like, this is a David fan right here. I mean, it's like, my God, 2K4 and everything. Jeez. We'll probably end up using that at some point here. Got that Rama. It's kind, of, it's kind of fun to do Martha here. I don't think Martha can do it, unfortunately. Well, her third skill actually works, but she has no survivability, so I think she'll have a bad time. But she will do good damage. If she was, like, everyone we've used so far has had a ludicrous MP rank. If she had, like, MP5, she might be able to do it. I, I kind of want to try her just because she seems like a bit on the fence. Nightingale is a really interesting one. Fucking Kiyohime. Oh, pretty five four nine. Who had? Who the hell has a level a hundred Kiyohime? As an account at level one hundred and thirty four, but then she's five four nine. That that's pretty rare, I think. Uh, we got uh, Sinti or Sentai. I forgot how to say it. Oh man, that deer. I gotta do the deer mid. Uh, that's 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 up my alley right there. Her skills aren't good. That's true. That is true. And yeah, she is more about just the NP and the stats. You still want those damage skills up though, just to get as much damage as possible. Her defense up really is a joke though. I cannot believe they made that such a baby like upgrade. I don't know. I, I just don't know why they did that. Uh, we haven't tried Luvia today, but I am pretty sure in the past we've done Luvia. Uh, we'll probably do that though. I think Zelos had maximum Luvia there. But I'm, I'm pretty confident we did that on JP. I like how I keep adding people and then I can't summon them because this game is just... Stupid. I gotta use some people that are already on my friends list too. I'll do one of them after... Uh, after we do this one. Oh, Zelos changing it to Tesla, though. I'm pretty sure Zelos said Tesla could solo this, actually. I wonder if it's RNG dependent, though, with, um, with stunning or not. Although, if you MP, like, three or four times, you're probably going to get at least one stun. There we go. My god, it's so hard to summon. Now, if you really want to show off a unit... Don't give them the anti-divinity CE because uh, it's gonna it's very impressive if they can win without it uh, But now if you just want them to do as well as they can though by all means give them that and it also especially if the unit sucks Then give them that but if you got like a big boy and you want to see them like, you know It's it's more of a, a status thing if they beat it without it because right We've already beat it twice so far and neither of them have actually used it uh, but if you want to use it by all means, but uh, it, it is kind of like a thing that it's like puts in their favor that not, not everybody's gonna have I don't know if you do Atlas for him. Let me look at his cooldowns. Like how many turns they are. I almost just typed in Deer Mud instead of Deer Mid. I'm so used to that. Okay, he is, oh, it's five. He's five, five, five. Okay, no, it's definitely Atlas. I thought he might be like 666 or 676 or something like that, but nope. That's true that uh, if someone's not like a really high NP rank, uh, it's way, I think it's more reasonable than to do the anti-divinity when compared to people that beat it without the anti-divinity, but they were NP5, right? It's not exactly a one-to-one -one comparison, but Oh yeah, stage three. Stage three is a little much for me. It's a little too fancy, but it's it's not terrible. But it's a, a wee bit over the top. A bit too many colors, in my opinion, too. You've got like the 
dark green, the blue, the gold, and I never like blue with gold. And then you got the white, and I think there's some black in there. Actually, it's like dark blue or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't like yellow and blue together. I, I've never thought that was a good look. Level 100 MP5 2K foe with anti-divinity. I mean, I guess it depends on the unit, but I mean, people can put up whatever they want to put up. Hmm. I, I'd like to get my MP gain, but it's not a good turn to actually cast the defense up, so I think I wait. The thing is, next turn's not a good turn to cast it either. That's really awkward. Shit. I don't want to waste it because it's uptime is three turns. Okay, I think I cast it just for the NP gain because I can recast it later, and I think that's the the duration for when I recast it is all I'm going to need for the fight anyway. So I think I, I it's okay to just use it now. There we go. Gotta have that uh, cool NP, man. I love this NP. It's nice that we can remove that. Dude, his animations are great. I, I really like that extra. It's cool. His kind of animations are like right up my alley where they're like meaty and not like, like generic, but they're not like overly fancy, right? You know, hit them with the sword. You know, that's what I like. Do we want the star bomb now? Hell, we pro- No, we have 49 stars. I should have used it last turn. I actually don't know why I didn't think of that. The sooner I use it, the sooner I can recast it. And last turn, we actually could have used the stars. I think we need to go for stars again, though. Oh, I would love a Lancer Dearmid update. Upgrade the mud. Yeah, we'll use one of the units that's already on my friends list next. Seems fair. Okay, I think we do the stars now. If I don't do it now, I'm just gonna waste it. Oh man, though, that crit spread. I'm tempted to do Buster or uh, MP art. Yeah, I think it's better to get the crits while you can. Another Enkidu buff. You buff the mud. Why update or buff an old unit when you can just make a higher rarity version? Yeah, they do that a lot. And a lot of other games do that too. Did, did we just fail a 90% crit? I literally only picked that card because of the crit. I'm killing myself here. Can I live two turns for the evade? I feel like I can't. Hell, can I live one turn? Because I'd like to sync up my NP. The 30%, it's 30%, it's really pushing it. This is where we need like a heal. Max value versus reliable play. I think we go max value because we're losing. I really wish we had landed that crit. Oh, yes. If we'd landed that crit, I could do more damage here instead of doing our quick quick. Also, we would have just done more damage to her. Also, we didn't crit with any of those either. This is going fantastic. Don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. You did it. 
Okay, we gotta give him one more go. We can do better than that. And Kidu now gets guts. That would be so absurd. Because then he gets an answer to Pierce and Vulnerability. Oh, music is looping. We'll let the song finish though, because it's good. And look, I can't summon... Okay, we'll use him again, but we might give it a minute just so I don't have to refresh a million times. Oh, these are hard picks. I gotta do this. It, I'm sorry, I have to do this because I see scuffed Lobos all of the time. All the time. And when we do account reviews, I see scuffed Lobos there all the time. He's always like unleveled or MP1, 654, and shit like that. This is level 100, 10, 10, 10, NP5, right? Like, my Lobo is only NP1. <laughs> Fucking every that I'm up. Oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, it's so rare to see proper Lobos. I absolutely have to use this. Gotta reward the, uh, the effort there. Like how, I, because I skipped it, Jason just said, okay, I know we've all been throwing. I don't know if he's 2k4 or not. I kind of feel like he's not though because we've only got 13,000 attack. Uh, I mean health. It's a little low. Buster quick quick or art quick quick. If I art quick quick I can NP next turn and if I happen to get good cards again that's definitely worth it. Should have swapped those quick cards around because of the command code. Damn I was hoping he'd make the stars. BB always portraying us. Yeah, Avenger stats are fucked up like that, where they have really low health normally. But still, 13k. I, 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 my guess is he's uh, like maybe partially foed. Pretty good hand, not the quick, quick, quick though. Let me think. Do I remove her buffs? It's kind of a waste of the attack down because she's gonna attack my taunt. What's the cooldown on it? It's only five turns, damn. The thing is the attack down is really important. I actually think what we do here is we don't NP. That sucks, but I think that's the right thing to do. And we just take the break chain and we just kind of pretend we didn't get our NP last turn. Like, too much gets out of sync if I NP right there. Yeah, he's got sumo. Are you looking this up, Aerie? Are you mathing it out? Yeah, I would like to know. Be interesting to, to see. Like, is his health that bad? He's partially 2k foed? Hey, I got it right! That was my guess. Alright, we definitely cast these two. Uh, do I want the defense up? Yeah, it's only a five turn cooldown, so I think I go ahead and do the defense up. Well, we should take pretty much no damage here unless she, like, Buster crits me or something stupid. Go get him, doggo. So he's about 300 uh, into 2k foe. So not, not that far. He's probably the next target, but he did someone else before him. Still nice to see though, and that means he will be 2k foed eventually. His NP is very slow in slow-mo. I think that one actually looks better in speed mode. You have to change the sound effects though, and like every time Lobo is in a video, and oddly enough, Lobo has been in a lot of videos. But um, I pretty much always have to move around his sound effects because he sounds so off in uh, fast mode. So she crit the hell out of us there, and I think that was even a buster crit, so that sucked. Good thing we had our defense up and attack down, though. We actually might have been one shot there otherwise. That is ridiculous. I wish that hadn't happened, though, because if that hadn't happened, we'd have enough health to definitely live the next time she hits us, which is what we need for our skills to come back. But now it might not, like, line up. Crit versus stars for next turn. Probably the crit. The whole point of making stars is to crit, so if you pass on them, it doesn't... It, that don't make no sense. Or crit, and it's still pretty nasty. Quick crit would be the preferable one, though. 
Is that her stage three? That is so like over the top with like the blue hair and like the stripes everywhere. Like it's kind of nonsense. 200%. Yeah, we have to live here. If we live here, we're in good shape uh, for like having a good performance. But if we die, it's kind of the worst. It's actually possible for him to live another another turn though, because really he could be at about full health right now, and then that means we wouldn't take too much damage here, and then we could cast our skills again, and that survivability from the attack up defense down might be enough to live again, but I don't think we could do that now. Unless we get really lucky on this turn. Damn. That sucks. That means Atlas didn't do us any good. It did nothing. Default would have been better. He actually might be able to beat this. He'll have to get really lucky, though. But he took a lot more damage than normal, and we kind of made some mistakes. So 200k is potentially doable with him, with what was left. Be hard, though. All right, the next time we see Deermit again, we'll give him another go. Uh, we should probably use someone from the friends list, though. Or the invites, excuse me. I'm gonna go back and forth here. Alrighty. I, I know who that is. He's like here. With the uh, Attila. You know, that's just. I might do that just because I know she is gonna get destroyed. But it might be interesting. She might do better than we think. I think everyone knows she can't do it. But maybe she does better. And yeah, it, like Ari said, it's really rare. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll do it, I'm convinced, because it is incredibly rare, and she's so bad for this stage, and it'd be interesting to see if she can maybe, you know, get farther than you'd expect. She definitely deserves the anti divinity though, because, uh, she is pretty, uh, bad for this. Alright, we're looking for Deermid or Attila. She wins, I believe. I don't know about that. She's gonna want default, I think. Cause there's no, her skills coming back is not that helpful. Good stats though, 17, 16, K. That's very good stats. I can't believe how much of a meme the Kyohime Buster card has become. Terrible opening hand, but at least we got something. And it has a star bomb, that's nice. Right, she's got the heal and the star bomb, okay. Yet another bad hand. You can tell her animation update, it's like it's way better than day one, but you can tell it was pretty early on in, in the, the animation updates that they did. Okay, we got heal boost. That makes sense. I like that. Good pick. It's actually such a good pick that I think I'm gonna art art here. Because being able to heal boost next turn could be really good. Actually, pretty solid damage. I mean, a good chunk of that's the anti divinity, but still, that's quite solid. Okay, we didn't need that to happen. Luvia just ending people over here. I would like to save my heal for when I can get heal boost again, but we might die. But I think we have to play to our outs and try to get like max value, otherwise we're gonna get wrecked anyway. Should've swapped those art cards around. 
Could you get your MP a little faster? Like, that game rate... Okay. That 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 heal boost, saving it there, might buy us a turn. There is a chance it'll it'll let us uh, survive the next time we get hit. Actually, she is doing better than I thought she would do. I wouldn't say she's doing amazing, but like even without the anti divinity CE, I think this would be a, a decent performance. Damn. Oh shit, if we get lucky, we can win. Damn! What the hell? We gotta do this without- we gotta do this without the anti-divinity now. I wanna see- that is really good damage right there. Like, goddamn. I'm impressed. I, I'm impressed. It's, does it, is her, does her defense down linger? Is it three turns? It is. So that second NP, uh, that had a lot going for it. <laughs> like it had a lot of, it had a lot of damage up there. All right, I'm ready to zeet the app. I think she's got this. Nice. Yeah, I think we should let her uh, give that a go without anti-divinity and see how she does. That's why, though, you upgrade your favorite units, even if they're not meta, because, you know, you can you can still give them pretty good stats, and her toolkit isn't that bad, right? Like, it's nothing, you know, phenomenal, but it, it's got a lot of damage in it, and so you give her, you know, upgrades and whatnot, and she can still do really well. Honestly, she's not even bad. I mean, she's not. It's just that she doesn't compare that favorably to some of the other sabers that are very similar to her. That, that's the main thing. Called it. All right, hold on. We got to use people on our friends list already. Hey, Dragon, if you're here, if you can switch the CE to something regular, I want to see how she does. Because she did quite well there, but she might be able to... She might be able to... She'll have to get lucky, but I think she might be able to do it without... But I think it'll be pushing it, but... That'd be really interesting to see. Now, see, Sanson still kind of sucks even when you upgrade him like that, but the reason I've upgraded mine is because what if they buff him? Because then, if then he's like kind of good. I want I want to have the best Sanson possible in case they ever do that, right? If I show up, you can pick who to use. Do, like, I'm guessing you. Okay, hold on. Let's see what. Uh... Where is that deer mid, by the way? Like, like it is gone. I see you're in chat. Like, you, you said you've logged in. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... Not Merlin. Um, I'm gonna just put that out there. We're not, not Merlin. That's not, that's not happening. These are some interesting choices. Atalante... I kind of want to do Atalante because it's so rare that you get to use Berserkers in this kind of context. And I'm, I'm genuinely curious like how she does i i think that's the one I, that's pretty interesting and i actually suspect Ares already done this but uh what do we use like mystic code wise i'm thinking default how much health do we have 13 almost 14. if she had like 15 i'd probably do atlas i haven't because i'm reading story fair enough yeah, I'm gonna read story later. I basically, I don't want to do it on stream. So when I get far enough on my stream that I'm kind of past the stuff I want to read, then I'm just gonna read it. I'm gonna actually start reading it tonight, actually, because I'm getting kind of far in now. I think default. I think I, I, that's a tough, tough call. So Dragon made a really good call there, though, giving uh, Attila the heal boost that actually saved us. I think. That was a lot of healing up. All right. 
I'm pretty sure we beat this with Landling on JP. We used Ares. I'm pretty sure we did that. I think it just took forever, because, you know, Landling. Really don't like the boss just cast those uh, skills right away. That's a huge like hit on our win rate. And I'm assuming we don't have the command codes for it because, you know, NA doesn't have free respects. Look at all of those buffs. That is not ideal. Might evade now because of the attack up and the crit up. Yeah, I think I gotta do that. I don't like using my crit up like that, but not a lot of choice. Oh, we do have one. That is the defense one. That's good. I wish I had my MP right now then, but that's good. Are you thinking ahead? I'm guessing, Ari, you spread out. I'm guessing someone else you gave the... This, this is my guess. Call, uh, now, tell me if I'm wrong, but this is my guess. Ari try, is, is like big braining, and so she spread out the anti-defense command codes, and she put them on the units she thought I was the most likely to pick, because she probably has a pretty good idea of what my criteria is for this kind of thing. It totally wasn't just already on her. <laughs> what about the other one, though? Didn't change any of my CC, so it's just, it's just luck. We just lucked out. Uh, if it was JP, uh, I would guess you would do that, though, because you're pretty crafty. All right, NP time. I still don't have my NP. I don't care for this. Uh, just crit forehead. I'm surprised you put that on her, then. I guess it's just you use her a lot. And I, I guess Berserkers can be used against almost any enemy, so I guess it does make sense for them to have the because de defense removal is really good. There's like five command codes with defense removal now on JP. I think NA has two, but yeah, there's there's so many. That is so lame that we went from not having our NP and then we went to 200%. Yeah, that, we, we have lost a lot of value because of the way the game rate. I don't know if she needs starting NP or not, because that was honestly just bad fucking luck. Like the way that all synced up. That sucks though, because normally you get to do your NP into a guaranteed crit with your crit buff from your third skill because it lasts three turns but it, it didn't uh line up that's because uh, it just took us so long there she guarded it's not that big of a deal because that's like curse or whatever we only got one crit that sucks Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's like right now we got really good crits, but we don't have our crit up anymore. Yes. So on our next NP, we probably do Buster first to get the NP up thing. Because we're going to try to win with that one, I think. This is actually looking pretty good, though, because we still have Guts. If Guts doesn't go off this turn, we win. And if it does, it's going to be Epi. Well, that's, uh, that's that. Okay, we have to win right now. Unfortunately, we don't have any buffs. Yes. Oh, 70% crit in the front is not great, but I think I have to. For the NP up. This is definitely winnable. Because this is close. Yeah, I'm ready to eat the app, but I'm not confident we're actually going to kill here because we don't have any buffs. All right, NP seal. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh boy, that could have screwed us up. 
Winnable, definitely winnable. I actually suspect your, the win rate's not even that bad. I, she might even have over 50% win rate there. You know, that was just, you know, shitty luck. I don't know, it's close. She's going to be somewhere between like 40 and 60% win rate, I think. Okay, did I... Uh, oh yeah, we still got to use Deer Mid and then Dragon again, but we're never getting them because support lists are incredible. That's a unique pick right there, Say. I didn't really expect you to go with that, but that's, uh, we'll, we'll use that at some point here, because that's, that's cool. And you got good command codes, too. The, the uh, Fury Ball. There's another uh, Martha, which I, I wouldn't mind trying Martha out, just uh, to see how the Anti-Divinity thing does. We'll probably use that in a minute. But we're, we're, we're falling behind on reusing the units we said we would reuse, because they're just never showing up. Martha at MP5, I think, might be able to do it. Um, like, if she's lower MP, than, like, MP2 or something, or MP1, then I, I don't know. But she'll be pushing it just because of survival. Hey, okay, there's Dragon. We're still missing Deer Mid, but... Uh... Alright, default again. I liked that for her. I think it is if you use starting MP or just... Time Luvia's free and P gain better. I think I missed part of that. Oh, you mean the win rate? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep the uh, NP seal in mind. Ugh. Okay, this opening hand can kind of work if we get lucky next turn, because we do have the Star Bomb. Yeah, I think, I think it'd be an over 50% win rate if you, like, min-maxed it and, like, really figured out what the best command code is and, like, the, the playing it properly. I think she could get over 50%, which is pretty good. Okay, that, this make, as long as we, like, grab a crit or something here, this, this really helps make up for the last turn. Because 40, 70, 70. That's very favored for getting two crits. There we go. Nice. That's actually really good. Good start. Okay, I would like to save the attack buff for my second NP because we can still have the defense down if things go well. So I need to focus on looping. Um, let's see. Because if I'm not mistaken, her third skill, yeah, it's three turns. Her first skill is three turns. So we basically... I tell you though, I could save her first skill for when Luvia does defense up, but there's just no guarantee that she's even going to do defense up, so I, don't, I think I use it now. But that is nice that she can actually remove the defense buff on her own. So, we're going to art art again. Even though we got the 80% buster crit, I like getting the heal boost here, and then I really want to maximize a uh, looping. i got to get that NP in time. I mean, we've already soloed this with a bunch of units. I think the first unit we used today soloed it. Ku can solo it. And he's a three star for God's sakes. Hell, Baldi can solo it. It's not even remotely reliable, but he can do it. Okay, we got a bit blasted there. Oh yeah, Spartacus can solo it too, actually. We have not done trap yet, but we, we might. Do I try to line up the heal boost again? I think so. So I have to get my NP next turn. That is like the whole gimmick for our- Oh, she guarded the defense down! Damn it! What a bitch. Man, there goes our- I mean, we'll still do good damage, but... Not as good as last time. Gods. Okay. 
Yeah, I remember Canis could solo it, but I don't know if we ever tried a level 81. He might be able to. Guarded it again. So that's no joke. We're missing out on a lot of damage because of those two defense. Because they both last three turns, so you get all, just lots of damage out of them. They're both 20%, and then over three turns, I mean, that's a lot of damage. I think she can beat this uh, without anti-divinity. You'll have to get lucky, and it's going to be close. But we didn't crit, and we didn't get either of our defense downs, and I think that could make the difference. Like, that's, that's a lot of, of damage we missed. I guess I go for an NP again. And then after that, we just go for pure damage. Those heal boosts saved us between the two heals. They definitely gave us more than 2,400 health. Can we win here? We definitely would have won if we had landed those defense downs or we crit either one. Like either way, that, that, that's actually pretty impressive because that's very unlucky that all those things went wrong. She doesn't have that much magic resist. Oh, now we get the defense down. Damn, dude, that, look at if one of the defense downs earlier had landed, we would have killed. Like, one of the defense downs, because three turns, is definitely 16k. Especially because it would apply to the second NP. And then also, if either of those buster cards earlier, when we had like 40 50, if those had crit, we would have killed there. That's really good for being an AoE unit that doesn't have good survivability and stuff. That's really good. So, for, I mean, because seriously, she's class neutral fucking AoE. Uh, that's quite good. Yeah, defense down over three turns ends up being a lot of damage. It's like a couple of extra hits. Oh, Beast, I, I'm sure I know for a fact that she can do it. I think she can do it like with, like, no offense to Attila, but Attila's not even close to being as good as Chago Jana for this kind of thing. And if Attila can do it, Chago Jana can probably do it like three times over. Uh, and I remember using her on JP, and she did it. All right, we gotta get that deer mid. I, I don't know why we can't summon this guy. We should use uh, Okita at some point. We gotta use that Martha as well. <laughs> Jol we, you know, we should do Jolter, actually. It's rare that she gets to be neutral like this, especially against a ruler, so... Uh, because generally if you use Avengers, it's against a ruler, but then you're counterclassing, and then it's really easy, so it's kind of fun. Yeah, off memory, any unit that was just, like, solid, if they were properly upgraded, could generally solo Lubia. Right? Because, like, Baldi can do it, and that means, of course, things like Masashi and o Okita, you know, Sitting Masters, all that stuff is going to be able to do it. Jack. Any, anybody that's like a proper unit that's like single target, has a survival skill, they're pretty much all going to be able to do it. Uh, but it, not, not always super easily, right? Sometimes it's still a bit close because Luvia just does so much damage. But yeah, j pretty much every proper solo unit can do it. And then even some that maybe aren't quite proper can do it. I don't think Deermid can do it just because I don't think he's got quite enough. He, if he had an upgraded NP, I think he could. But, because he's going to NP like three or four times. And so if it was doing an extra chunk of damage, generally an upgraded NP does 20% more, I think that would be enough. Because uh, I think he'll get kind of close, but I just don't think he's got quite enough oomph. Yeah, he could probably do it at a higher NP rank. Because if you've noticed, almost everyone we've soloed this with has been NP5. Uh, and that's because she give, she hit, her hit count is so high, everybody's NPing a lot, even if they don't have good gain rate. And so you're applying that bonus damage over and over again. So yeah, I, I really do think Deermid could do it uh, at NP5. Actually, probably at NP4, even. Because there's not that big of a difference between 5 and uh, 4. Because for real, a 5-star, like, level 100, 2k foe, NP5, you know, like, at that point, your stats are just so overwhelming that uh, they're going to be able to do a lot of stuff that they wouldn't be able to otherwise. But that's the point is I'm trying to see people's best units because most people I'm hoping are going to put up units that they've like really really upgraded I Want to try Martha, huh? Yeah, I guess Zaw doesn't really care uh, Oh wait, no, Canis isn't out on NA. That's right because uh, 
She's in Lost Bolt 5-1, but she's not summonable. Excuse me. This is not JP. Wow. Somehow we're not going to get our NP. And wait, and let, wait, no, I think she's got the... This is... I got both. Yeah, she's got 20%. Okay. No Kimlon here. Yes. Kind of funny that Europa doesn't exist when she's supposed to. Oh my god, though, this sucks that this is already up. And we don't have any defense removal command code, so kind of boned, I think. I'm, I'm gonna, I, I gotta, I'm gonna reset. I want him to get a good run, because that's so bad for him. Freaking, dude, freaking, uh, Fujino with just armor ignore. <laughs> doesn't care at all. Good luck with work, boy. I would have used the trap if I knew you had that little time. Man, we are really not getting good hands with their mid. Okay, that's no stars, but at least we'll get our NP. I'm thinking they're gonna do Europa in like the part two banner and like have a rotate with Achilles or something. You kind of make up for how bad, because I think they're aware of how bad the part two banner was in JP, so they're trying to make it less bad like that. But I, I wouldn't have done it that way. I think that's kind of weird. Okay, we'll make the stars now. That was definitely a mistake last time. Okay. Looks kind of whack in fast mode, by the way. You yeah, see, if he had like a more, if he had an upgraded MP or he was a higher MP rank, he'd be doing 100k plus there. And with him, him MPing as much as he will, that that could potentially be enough at the end. Uh, how do you say this? B Beto, uh, thank you for the three months. Beto Durans? Dur Durans? I might be in the ballpark. I might not. I like more copies of Deer Mid myself. I never really been able to get him at a high NP rank, but I really like him, so at some point I want to make that happen. I've got him in P1 on both of my accounts, which uh, is kind of rough. Do I quick quick? The art card's got the damage cut, which I actually like here, but uh, I think we do this anyway. Don't art card. Oh god. Look at that double crit just get deleted. There's definitely a lot of, if, unless you've got really good survivability, so you can weather turns like that, like Koo, um, you, uh, there's definitely a lot of RNG and like how long you can live here. Cause like some of the units we've used that have won would have lost if turns like that happened to them, but it, it thankfully didn't. That's also though, where being like level 100, 2k foe, uh, and five star and stuff like that can really help because your stats are just so much higher that you, you can generally have a turn like that and still, still potentially live one more. Where lower stars can still do that, but they have to have a toolkit aimed at it. 
don't know, Dearmid might actually do better though with um, default. I don't know though, he's 5 turn cooldown, so... It's just his third skill coming back doesn't matter. The, the evade coming back sooner matters, but I might be able to get it to come back with default heal. I, I actually think heal boost and default is probably better for him. And that wouldn't be the case if his third skill did anything. But because it doesn't, I think it's better to be able to just uh, do more damage and stuff. Like, we're just not getting much out of Atlas. It looks like we are, but we're really not. Also, we did sync up, sync up our NP there, but there wasn't really anything to do about it. There actually are some games that let you use dupes of a character of like a different type. Like Epic Seven does that, um, where like if they make two versions of a character, you can use either version to upgrade the other version. And, and so, it's kind of crazy too because sometimes they'll make like a five star or a four star version of a character that's a, originally like a three star and you can use the three star to do like their version of NP upgrades, which is kind of nuts. They're quite generous in that department. Honestly, he's getting close enough here that I think he can do this uh, if he gets lucky and or we just had a higher NP rank. Like, if he had uh, the NP rank that some of the other units we've used, I think he would win. Because he he's getting close and we've had shitty luck. Like, we absolutely could live another turn through our, our normal health uh, if we hadn't gotten so bodied because we have that defense up. Yeah, no, he could do it. I mean, if all the we did, like, what, three or four NPs? If he had a higher NP rank... Uh, yeah, he can definitely do this. That's that's very close. He's, he's not that far off. And again, he could have lived another turn if he didn't get double crit with the crit up. Okay. At that MP rank, though, I think he could do it, but I think your win rate would be like, you know, 10% or something stupid. All right, let me remove the people we use, just so we got more space for other people. All right, we'll get someone new in, and then we'll use someone that's already on our friends list. Okay, we got a big Emiya. That'd be kind of fun to see, because he's AoE, and it's kind of spicy to do this with AoE people. And he's got the big crits. And people are always asking me to do that. We got, uh, I, I think Gramps can do it. I don't see why he couldn't. As long as you play well, he seems like you'd be able to do it. So probably should use him at some point just for funsies. Oh, so, uh, Verdi Fire just resubbed, so that's kind of a nice thing to do. Got that David, though, man. <laughs> that's, 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 we, we got a lot of units to try out here. We got Musashi and Okita. We got the classics there. Low NP rank, that actually kind of makes it spicy. Got Hot Wheels, got fucking... The meme there. Get out! Get out of here with that, with that uh, Jonah Arc stuff, y'all. Y'all trying to make it a, a solo take like three years. All right, let's do uh, let's let's do Emia. That's pretty cool. And then we might do Gramps. We'll do Emia. Then we'll do one that's already on my friends list. Then we'll do Gramps. Oh man, Cap'n with the big boy. Cap'n said he already he did this with Caligula, which is pretty cool. Caligula's got damage, man. Oh, wow. That's, uh... Pretty... I, I bet you that could do it. Uh, that, as I was say, it's pretty, pretty big. But yeah, I bet you that can do it. Man, there's so... I want to try that Jolther, too. There's so much stuff I want to try here. We got the, uh... The Taiga. Where, where be Emiya? Oh, Fury with the- if Fury was here, I would use that. I bet you he can do this. He doesn't have his buffs yet, but I, I bet you he can do it anyway. And then with his buffs, I think he would just destroy this. But Fury's not even here, so I, I should stick to people that are, are here, because we have a lot of people that, that want to show off their, their MVPs. Okay, let me look at Emiya. I'm thinking he wants default. Especially if he has heal boost. I need to look out for people that uh, use heal boost. 
because uh, there are some units that that's going to be really good on. Um, okay, no, he doesn't. So I, I, I mean, I think he's six six six. Because he's six six six, it's kind of he's got a defense up though, so maybe he can get that extra turn. Oh, this is tough. It's definitely between Atlas and Default. I think I'm gonna do Default. I feel like the heal is maybe more likely to, to buy us a turn than actually, because I think we would just die before we got the Evade again sometimes. Well, we got almost 15,000 health. And if we get our third skill again, that's better than having the, okay. We'll do Atlas. This is risky. This really is risky. But it's it's like it can go good or bad on with either Mystic Code. Oh damn it, Fury is here. Fuck. Hi, hi Fury. Well, we'll do yours next time we see it. Shit. Old God of Blindness. That's like some Bloodborne stuff. Oh, you did say something earlier, too. I I, I could see that. <laughs> like, way earlier you said something. I see that. Wait, do I not have you, Hex? What the fuck? I'll, uh... I, I, there's almost no way that I could... There's basically no way I can give uh, Hex, like, favoritism because, like, I'm gonna always have 20 invites right now. But off stream later, I'll be able to do it, so I, I will get Hex in there. Biasm, by the way. This hand fucking sucks. I can't believe I'm doing a Buster Chain. Yeah, I know. Friends, every time I add someone, though, uh, one slot opens up. So you can still get in. So what's happening is I'm at 20 at 20, but I'm adding people one at a time and then removing them. So as soon as I add them, it goes to 19. So there is, there's one slot available every single time I'm adding somebody and you know, we're kind of consistently doing that. So you still can get in, it's just tricky. The, the good news is the people that are most dedicated at that point are the most likely to get in, so they kind of deserve it the most. So I'll try to keep that in mind, but I'm not gonna be able to get to everybody, unfortunately, it's not today. We'll stay at Luvia though for more than one day because it's really cool seeing chat's favorite units, right? And just seeing like how much they've upgraded them and like, you know, it's just fun to see all like the AOE and single target people, how they do. Uh, great, she's already got the... How do I... I'm not gonna get my NP. Two turns in a row? Two turns in a row, and we got zero... Zero NP gain. Fantastic. I, I'm, I, I'm gonna get a glass of water. I, 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 I gotta... I gotta wash that down. To be fair, though, he probably wasn't getting his NP in time anyway, because he's only got 30% starting NP. It would have been nice to have a chance, though. Alright chat, 
gotta give gotta give our boy the right music here. It's only fair. Not that this song is bad. Okay. We're gonna die, by the way. What do we do? I think we do uh, this because the high crit chance. Look, you know, this is the version of the song that played when he fought Herc in like the Dean's Day night. And he died there too. So, you know, we're just being thematic. I don't know, maybe I should have saved that. I so wish, like, I'm not even an Emiya fan, and I'm like, he could have done so much better. His NP should be like, it should permanently change the battlefield, it should change his normal attacks to incorporate the flying swords, and it should give him, like, buffs and stuff. Uh, and then the music should change. Like, I don't care if you're fighting, like, Morgan and you got your stupid Morgan theme playing. If you use Unlimited Blade Works, you should get the goddamn music, right? It's fuck- and if he dies, then it goes away and it goes back to the boss music. Or you can have it when the boss in peace, it goes back to the boss music. But that would be so much fucking better. Like, it makes me mad that they don't do stuff like that, because it's not hard to do those kinds of things. And the flavor is like unreal, right? Dude, we, we need a fluffy emote with the D face. I'm glad we got a crit there, so even if like things don't line up, we're not wasting the crit buff. Like, I actually would have liked it if Unlimited Blade Works was an NP like Baldi's where it didn't do damage, but then you make it actually good, where it, it gives him permanent effects, and like, he makes it where his normal cards, you know, are like forever better, like he gets a permanent attack up or something like that. Um, or maybe you give him a permanent attack up, a permanent quick art buster up as well, and maybe even a permanent crit up, or, or something like that, or stars per turn, or something like that. Uh, and then his normal cards change, so you 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 put a lot of effort into because you didn't put as much effort into like a fancy NP animation. Uh, you put that effort into making new normal card attacks. Once that that'd be so cool, dude. Unfortunately, uh, we're stuck with this. So so Orion, yeah, yeah. Thirty K though, I like that. We're doing some normal card damage. All right, we got defense uh, up and attack down, so hopefully we don't just get deleted here. And we got fucking Buster Crit, and we got, I think, Buster Crit again. So we actually would have died if it wasn't for our defense up and our attack down. But look, Atlas is wrong because this happened. But if that didn't happen, it would have been right, and I could have evaded again, and I could have done the damage stuff again, and then after the evade, I'd have crits again because we're in peeing here. Fuck. Well, because we're dead, we go for damage now. So, I don't think he would have won if the, if the good timeline had happened, but he would have gotten a lot more done. Because uh, he would live this extra turn, so that's another turn, and then he would evade, so that's another turn, and then he could attack the one time after that at least. Um, he could get pretty far. But uh, definitely not winning in that, that time frame. Like, no way. Now, I will say, I bet you Emiya can solo this, though. You would just need really good command codes, good luck, and then um, uh, maybe a higher MP rank. But even though he's off by 243k, which is a lot, because what just happened kind of screwed us over, we could have at least done another 100k. At least. And potentially more. And then I think you can make up for the rest of that with, like, higher MP rank, better command codes, so on and so forth. Um, I don't think he needs to be 120. He could definitely do it at 120, though, because almost everyone, I think, could do it at 120. But, like, just having better command codes would have made a huge difference there. Like, it would a huge difference. Like, those crits were pretty big, but they could have been a lot bigger.
Yeah, that's that's definitely that's definitely be beatable with him. I bet you someone's already done it because Emi is so popular. Uh, legit, I think Sanson might be able to do it at 120, just because his stats would just be so high at that point. And uh, he does have an upgraded NP and, you know, the defense down and stuff. Like, I think... It, it, I don't know if he could do it with, like, an 80% win rate or anything like that, but uh, I do think he could probably do it. 120 is no joke. Like, it's pretty wild. Okay. Uh, Ozzy, I would think, is Atlas. Let me look at this real quick. It's a million percent Atlas once he gets his buffs. But he does not have those yet. Oh yeah, his third skill is only a five turn cooldown. So yeah, we... And we got heal boost, oh geez. Yeah, it's definitely... I think he, the only way we lose this is if Luvia like... Is like triple buster spamming and get some crits in there. Then, then we might have a bad time. Yeah, I think that Imia with different command codes could probably do it. It would be tough. Like, I don't think it'd be 100% win rate. But, um, because for real, we could have done a lot more damage if we had just lived that one turn. Which I actually think we were more likely to have lived that turn than not. I think that was really kind of bullshit that we got double buster crit. Because um, he got the defense up and the attack down. So I think him living one more turn would have been pretty likely. And then you get the evade. And then you get another turn. Um, and you could MP then crit after that. And his crit skill would have been back too. Dude, I have not used Scath Assassin seriously since I made the tier list video. Um, and that was a long time ago. I have not used her seriously one time since then. Um... We'll get her MP without our third skill, but I might end up using our third skill next turn regardless. What do we do then? No, I think we use his third. I actually, this is going to be risky, but I think we're going to wait a turn to do our second skill until the heal will actually matter. I just have to make sure that I have the heal boost then. So that's the, that's going to be the one turn I think of like real RNG. But you get like fucked up uh, on the, that, this one turn, like the next turn. If the next turn we get like completely blasted, uh, then we're in really bad shape. Why did they buff this man twice in a row? What were they thinking? Because again, on NA, he doesn't have either of his buffs. And they're like, yeah, let's just give him massive crit and stars everywhere and more NP damage. Like, fuck it. Do I NP, though? I think I do. Yeah, I think we use this and then we Buster Buster. Okay, we got our heal boost. Oh yeah, they gave him the cooldown reduction. Oh god, why did they do that? You need that double Imperial privilege. I will say, it is cool that he is like, I'd say undisputably the best rider in the game. At least for single target stuff. Uh, that did not go great. But anyway, and he's such an old unit, right? I, I, I kind of like that. Okay. I wish we'd had that defense up last turn just because we took so much damage, but... I kind of want to art quick art. I don't know. Let me see. I can probably do Buster Art Art and get my NP. That's probably the way to go then. Quetz is in good shape. She is a really good rider. Like, her buff was nice too, but she's definitely not as good as Ozzy. But she's, like, it's not a big deal. Like, my god, it's still... Oh, damn. Damn, I really wanted to NP here because we would have the double attack up. Well, I guess I could just cast it next turn, but still. I'm gonna overcharge really hard now.
Uh, yes, I Buster Art Buster. Then we invulnerability. Wait a minute. Oh, this is gonna get ugly because I don't actually want to NP seal her. Because I want to be able to invulnerability so I can't die, and then the next turn I can, um, I can, uh, second skill again. Let me think. Oh, damn, not the crits. Damn it! He can definitely do this. He just got so fucking blasted. Damn. He was really close to, like, getting a lot more value there. Yeah, she's always kind of like that, though, where there's a chance that she just deletes you like that. The only units that are, like, immune to that are units like, um, Ku and, uh, Enkidu, Fujino, right? Those really disgusting ones. We'll probably give Ozzy another go in a minute. L let's use somebody, though, from the, uh, invite list here. Okay, this is definitely winnable with oh there oh Jesus there's a yeah see that Emiya I think can do it because like that one's NP five and got the command codes and everything so that that one I think's got it I, even though I think you'd still have to get a, a, some luck I don't think it'd be like a breeze but uh, it, it is doable. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? There's so many things to to use. We'll do Gramps. I said we would do Gramps soon, so uh, that's fair. Do we have a good Tomoe? Because that'd be kind of interesting. He's a unit people don't remember very much. I don't think we have one, actually. Oh yeah, that Rama, though. Zona has one? Okay, we might do that then. That sounds fun. So let's get uh, at Gramps in here. I mean, yeah, Persona should already be on my friends list, I would think. Unless he nuked me, which he might have done, which fair enough, because I, nu I nuke the world all the time. Can Izo do it? Probably not. He's, uh, I don't know, if you get really lucky, maybe, but he's not as good as some people think he is. I know, he's a round Baldi tier, and Baldi can do it with extreme luck, so he Izo might be able to do it if he gets really lucky. That Angra, though. Gotta, gotta do that Pence. That's actually an interesting one. I might do that Pence now, just because Say deserves it too, and uh, we're not getting Gramps yet, so we'll do this real quick. She probably wants Anniversary Blonde still. There's just, she's even though she gets to be neutral, there is no world where she lives a long time here. That's just not happening. I did it with Izo, but you need luck. Yeah, that makes sense. Like I said, if, if Baldi can do it, it makes sense that Izo can do it, but he probably needs luck. I actually bet he needs less luck than Baldi did, though. Because uh, Baldi needed nutty luck, where Izo probably just... I mean, he probably needs a healthy dose of it, but not not that bad. Do I just third skill? Yeah, I think we... Or second skill, excuse me. We just throw that out. Do I quick chain? I mean, she's a berserker, so she's probably not going to get it. Anyway, I think I do that. MP gain's pretty important here. Uh, give me one second. I think I, I got a I got pizza in the toaster oven, and I think it's ready. Oh my god, chat. I know I've said this before, but this is so good. Like, I, I, I got a pizza on my way home today, and I didn't even eat a single slice. I just immediately threw it in the freezer. Like, not the fridge, the freezer. And then you reheat it in an oven or a toaster oven, and it, it just, it's so much better than when you eat it originally, because it's less greasy. It's so good. Like, this is such an OP strat, dude. Delicious.
Yeah, when I worked at a pizza place, my boss taught me that to put to put pizza in a freezer instead of a, a refrigerator, and it is. Not only does it make it taste a million times better when you uh, reheat it and stuff, but it lasts longer, right? Like it, um, uh, it, it lets you like, you don't have to eat the whole damn thing like in two days or whatever, right? It, it lasts quite a while. It, it really is worth trying. Like, uh, it, it's pretty cool. Okay, this hand is garbage as are most of them today. Uh, thankfully, Attila's hands were good, but everyone else seems to be having a bad time. All right, I need Guts to not go off this turn. That's definitely necessary to have her best run. 40% crit versus guaranteed bonus damage to rulers and servants. Well, 40% will actually fail more times than not. We'll do it that way. Honestly, how long it needs to be in the freezer is going to depend on the freezer, but not that long. I mean, I'd say a few hours and you'll probably be good. Okay, this is good. Good timeline. Not good crit spread, but I should have made more stars last turn. Actually, don't know why I didn't think of that. 100% crit last. See yeah, what I do because I go to the doctor once a week and there is a Little Caesars near my doctor's office. So just like I have like once a week I have pizza day basically and I just pick up a pizza there and it's only $5. And then you do this freezer thing, and it's like a god tier pizza for five bucks. And I can get multiple meals out of it. It's, it's, it's great. Big fan. Pretty respectable performance right here, actually. Wouldn't shock me if she could actually beat this. If you get a little lucky, I think she could beat this. Yeah, and she could get her MP right now. So yeah, I, I definitely think she could do this. I don't think she's gonna do it super reliably, but I, I think she could do this. That's pretty impressive for not having any survivability at all. Yeah, I gotta use Zaw's unit. <laughs> we haven't seen him uh, in a while. Okay, there's Persona. And there's Fury again. Still no Gramps. Which one do we go with? I guess we'll do Tomoe just because we haven't used her yet. I'm thinking she wants default. Hex, that's so good. Maybe, um, maybe try it with the mouth being a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. But that might look weird, I don't know. Maybe just give it a try though. I think, I think having it be bigger could be good. Do I quick chain here? Yeah. Okay, 
Yeah, honestly, you probably should flip Fluffy around. I think that, that works pretty well. Why couldn't more units get hands like this? Alright, we're very likely to crit twice. 60, 60, 70. Triple crit? Yeah, there we go. Good timeline. Alright, she wants to cast her guts early. Actually, I may have made a mistake and I, I might have wanted to cast it last turn. <clears throat> yeah, it lasts five turns. So yeah, I probably should have already cast it. Do I want the star rate? Yeah, because we're gonna NP. So the goal is to NP a second time before our first skill wears off. I hope she has her NP upgrade on NA. Oh yeah, she has crit down. That's actually really nice here. We art art then. She does awesome. She just got it. Good timing. A hundred K? Wow. Can you imagine if we art crit there? How good that would have been? No, don't be doing all that buster crap. Damn it, game. All right, I got to get my NP this turn. Luvia's hit count is nutty, though, so I don't know if I need to do art quick art. Can I do buster... Art art. It doesn't have the best gain rate ever, but it's not the worst. I think we do BAA. Good vault. If we're barely short, I should have done a QA, but I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Hit me! Oh shit. Woo boy, if she cast the skill, I wouldn't have gotten it. Very close. I think we BBB on this one. Wow, man, that's good. I'm actually sad she got guarded there because no joke, the burn damage is enough to matter. Like, it's enough to save you a couple of normal attacks. And she's got the double multiply, so having a second burn, that second burn would be multiplied twice, which is really, really good. Oh, we got so lucky, chat. So freaking lucky. We're probably going to win because of that. I don't think we would have won if she popped guts there. Because we'd have to win this turn. But now we just have to win next turn. So the question is, art quick art? Or trying to win with two normal cards? I think art quick art because we've got Merlin. And then decent crit chances. The sad thing is, if none of this crits, uh, we might still lose. Okay, good start. Oh, it's close. I don't know. That might not work. Fuck. And she, she did the lowest hit count that she could do. God damn it. Oh my god. If she had done one of the other hit counts, it might have just been enough. Okay, so now that we're doing damage, that means I should have done damage last turn. But, you know, I thought we, we had a decent chance there. Oh, I, I'm not sure if I've done a damage combo, though, if that would have made it for 46k. I don't, I don't think it would have. I actually think I made the right play then. I think the only chance we had was getting our NP. I don't think there was any way. And we, we could have gotten it. That, so that also winnable. Also winnable. And I'd actually say her win rate is probably 50-50. That looks pretty 50-50 to me. 
Actually, better than I thought, though. Like, for real, that was, that was pretty solid. All right, we still need Gramps to show up. And we got to do Ozzy again. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, this should be doable as long as we don't get really unlucky or make any really stupid plays. Because he's got heal boost. If he didn't have the heal boost, he might be in trouble. But with heal boost, it should be... Unless we get, like, triple buster crit. Something like that. Or even double buster. I anyone that gets double buster crit, I think, is fucked. Unless they've got, like, you know, massive amounts of hard survival. All right, I got to think about when we want to cast our third skill. So uh, someone that like Vol or someone would have to answer this because I'm not sure, but I want to say on JP, doesn't the text for his name at the bottom there under his NP say like um, the old man of the mountain or whatever and not first Asan? Like, obviously, he's kind of all of those things, right? You know, he's, you know, King of Son, First of Son, Old Man of the Mountain, whatever. Yes, it does. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it's kind of strangely changed that. I guess it's because it's so long and it's kind of a mouthful in, uh, in English. It, it probably can fit. They've had some event names that, that definitely fit, but it might not look as good. I kind of prefer his name being the Old Man of the Mountain, though, because I, I actually think First Hassan kind of fucks up his lore. It's not really true. Like, he's known as that, but he's not. Like, he's, you know, th that whole order came after him, and they were, like, inspired by him, right? And his actual identity is not known, and that's why I think Old Man of the Mountain works really well, because that's what the Hassans are based on, and he is that, right? That's, like, the point. So, it, it, I think it makes a lot more sense for it to be that, but I, I get why if it's, like, space issues or whatever, but, uh... Okay, that's uh, that's decent. Alright, I think I might Guts here. Let me look. No, I don't think we Guts just yet. Because we're probably going to use our second skill, and that should slow down the rate at which we die. Oh yeah, NA got his buff early. It's like the only time they've done that. I forgot about that. So yeah, we'll wait a little bit to cast it. See ya, Aerie. Thanks for hanging out. Gotta get 10% NP here, which we should get with our extra attack. Never mind, we got it with just the quick. He's got a really good gain rate. It's actually pretty common that they do that for units that are triple buster. So when they do do quick and art, they get a lot out of it. Do I buster now, or do I think that's just a little too soon? I think it's okay. I think I can get away with this. Now, I want a heal boost. I guess we BB then. 60% crit versus the guaranteed damage up. 60% crit will crit more than not, so I guess we'll do it that way. Oh man, stage one gramps. Looking very comfy. 100k. Thank you, uh, NP5 and first skill. Woo! Good start! Alrighty, that sets us up really nice. That doesn't. Luvia! We're, we're doing, we were doing so good, and then you're just like, let me just bust her crit. Oh, NP3, very nice. I'm mad. Oh, I'm fucking mad. If she didn't do that, we were so set. God damn it, Luvio. Do I rely on her attacking me to get my NP? I'm gonna say yes.
Nice to use the buster up while we got it. And we keep critting though. Oh! I don't know if I can complain about her critting me when I keep critting with those. Like, we're getting way more damage in than we're supposed to. Yeah! Oh, we got this. Honestly, we probably should have done default. I could heal boost that. Uh, and we get the big, big heal. And that, that with the defense buff, which actually we don't have anymore, feels bad. But uh, we could we could live and like not have guts go off there. Now, if I quick art, there's a pretty decent chance that we loop. But we got a lot of damage. Hmm. I think we BB. Like Buster Chain, first card Buster Bonus, Buster Up, Attack Up, Anti-Ruler Command Code. That's a lot of things in one place. Okay, no bullshit lucky crits on this one, but we got it next turn. Yeah, default would have been better. We got nothing out of Atlas at all. We basically had no Mystic Code. Okay, GG. Ramp's good, by the way. Yeah, I imagine if we had gotten a little luckier there, uh, you could have more excess value. Because you could, I, I, I know Ramp's pretty well, and I know if we didn't get blown up there, we could have looped the guts. And then he comes back with so much health with guts that we've you've also looped your second skill, and then you, you have heal boost and you do that and you just you can keep going for quite a while. So he, he can definitely win that harder than he did. The good what's cool though is he's kind of um, idiot proof or or a uh, bad luck proof there because even with things not going quite right, he still won. So he he doesn't need that, that that lucky stuff to happen. Or some units if they don't get the lucky stuff, they're just not winning. Gramps is quite cool. I uh, I always in enjoy using him. Oh, there's Zaw. Let's see if he actually shows up, because Zaw really deserves to get a, uh, a run in here. Let's see, is this the, the biggest... This is probably the biggest Martha we got. It's either this or Finn's. They're, they're both really meaty. If Finn's still here, what we'll do is we'll just use one of uh, Finn's other units. That's, that is 2k foe. So they're, they're probably tied. I think they're both super big. Okay, we have no survivability at all. So Atlas is just, no. Like, we'll do default. We want that we want that first NP we do just to be as disgusting as possible. Hey, Sinti or Sentai. I, I literally forgot which way to say it, but thank you for the six months, half a freaking year. Oh yeah, the Gareth finish on the challenge quest. Yeah, I, I uh, every once in a while that kind of stuff when I'm recording, I'm just like, you know, I could do this. Sinti, okay. Okay, what am I doing? Um, I hate doing this, but I think this is the play. Some, yeah, I don't want 98% to happen, so. And when you do two buster cards and you get one NP gain. So she needs eight NP this turn. Oh boy, it's all up to the extra attack. I can battery if I have to, but I wanted to save it. Eight NP off extra. I don't know about that. Nope. Not even close. Well, time to use her first skill. Oh, you're right, it is Seaside. Oh, 
All right, anti-divinity, double attack up, super upgraded. Buster chain, what are we gonna get? That is a lot of- what the hell? What? Did you just- just, uh, just one turn it, okay? I don't think anybody was expecting that, uh, aside from MEP people that have already used her here. What the fuck? Like, I know her bonus is big, but that is nonsense. Yeah, just one turn. Okay, I take back what I said earlier. I take- I completely take back what I said earlier. Jesus Christ. It's like her anti-divinity thing is good or something. God damn. And she won so hard there that you could win with a less upgraded Martha because you still had the evade left and such. Oh boy. <laughs> easiest solo again, dude. That was definitely the easiest one uh, so far. Uh, okay. And if we got a crit, you could probably do that without the anti-divinity, uh, CE. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll give Gareth a go. This is probably gonna be rough, but, uh, how's this? Let's see. That looks really good, Hex. That looks really good. Maybe, uh, again, maybe make the mouth just ever so slightly bigger, because I'm worried that when it's in small mode, it might be really hard to tell. But if you make it too big, it might not look right, so... But you could you play around with that. But yeah, that looks good. Like, uh, that's good stuff. We're definitely gonna do this again tomorrow. I, there's just no way I'm gonna get to everyone today. So, uh... And this, it is fun seeing people's units, so we'll definitely do this again tomorrow. So that, actually, she might, if you can charm here, she might be able to do this. Um... The only issue is the goddess essence, right? Combined with the charm fail chance, that could get really annoying. I know for a fact Kama can do this because I've used her here before and Ka Kama is just She's the best solo assassin. There's no way around that. She is disgustingly good uh, Oh, yeah, we gotta use uh, we gotta use Jolter. I'll try to do that next because I said I'd do that a while ago I almost want to do anniversary blonde because I just don't see a world where she lives super long we don't have heal boost. If we had heal boost, I would do default. Let me look. Maybe we do Atlas, but I kind of doubt it. She's got 15k, but... I'm curious how she's going to do at 120, because then her stats really will be like a, like a level 104 star at, when she's at 120. Why am I looking at assassins? She is not an assassin. I don't know where my brain is going with that one. Okay, she does not have her buff. If she had her buffed first skill, it's- I don't know though, it's still a 7 turn cooldown, that's a bit too much. Her third skill is a 5 turn cooldown, and it is a 40% defense up. So it's only one turn. I mean, if she's able to get- if that buys her enough time to get her second skill twice, Atlas is probably worth it, but I don't- I just don't see that happening reliably. Like, Atlas could work, but I think it'll fail more than it'll work. So I think we go default. Gareth sneaking through the bushes with a knife. So when I play Dark Souls, like, you know, I do PvP and Dark Souls all the time. Uh, yeah, I see Fate names from time to time. It's normally Artoria, though. Artoria and Gilgamesh, I see all the time. You don't see other Fate names often at all. Like, but I see Artoria or Saber or Gilgamesh. Like, all the time. That's like the mainstream stuff. Like, I, I, I see Imia a little bit, but not, not, not much. And then like a lot of the fate names I've never seen. But I did see someone named Gareth, and I suspect they were named that after fate, because they were female, and they used the lance, and so on and so forth. But, uh, that was kind of funny. I saw another name the other day, too, that... Oh, it was Bob! Yeah, I, I invaded someone who's named Bob, and right, that's like a meme here, so... That was kind of funny. I've seen Herc with Great Dragon Tooth. That's great. That's so good. 
The most popular name is Guts, though. I am not kidding. The most popular name, hands down, is Guts. And what's crazy is there's like gear in that game that allows you to make like a very like accurate like guts cosplay but a lot of people don't use it a lot of people use like the wrong armor and stuff and they, they fuck it up i've seen people named richard but it's hard to know like they'd have to go like richard the lionheart which i don't think fits and stuff like that so it's hard to know but yeah, Guts wins by so much, like, because, you know, obviously most people you invade are going to be a one-of-a-kind name you've never seen before, but when you see repeats, it is, I've even had a time, I invaded a guy, and his, he had a, a phantom buddy with him that was named Guts, and then another invader came in that was named Guts, and I'm like, okay, well, this is getting awkward. That's actually, I think, happened more than once, because it's, it's that common. I actually have never seen someone spell it Altria, but I'm sure somebody does. It's normally Saber or Oratoria. I, yeah, I have seen I have seen Griffith. Not much, but I have seen Griffith, and they normally use a rapier, and rapiers are pretty good in that game. But yeah, not not often. I don't I don't see that name often at all. I think the only reason anybody does it is because so many people are named Guts. I'm pretty sure that's the the shtick there. I am tempted to do my second skill, but I don't think it's the right thing to do. Yeah, we'll we'll try to line up the. I want I need to get max value. We need a second NP or a gutter counter attack, and we do the attack up. So that that's what we're gunning for here. So that fuck though, fuck. I've got 80 and 90% crit on our buster cards. Like, if I'm trying to loop like that, I need to do quick art. Oh, that's so tempting. What do I do? Fuck me, dude. I, I don't know what to do here. That sucks. The thing is, if you go with that, then you need to use the attack up now. But then I don't have the counter attack. Okay, fine. We'll do the Ooga Booga. I'll see what, what happens. I'm so excited, though, for Elden Ring, because I'm going to invade a lot of people in that, and we'll get to see, you know, all kinds of stupid names and stuff there, so that's going to be a fun thing to And we're going to be making fate memes as we go, so... All right, we do it uh, in that order. I like how we get the defense removal command code, though. That's, that's nice. I actually like her NP quite a bit. It's simple, but it still looks cool. 70k, that's respectable. If we had that uh, counter attack, we could have gotten to 100. Honestly, that turn would have been so devastating, like how much damage we could have done. If one, we had the counter attack, and two, if this was JP Gareth, and we had the, um, the uh, big crit thing. She could probably do this, actually, over there. I think I cast it now. I think I can get my NP here. I should have waited a turn to cast Guts. I, I cast it one turn too soon, like absolutely. That is that is definitely a mistake. Come on, BB, give us the five stars. Gonna make a female axe character named Fall. Don't you fucking dare. I'll know it's a stream sniper if someone invades me named like Canis CD, you know, I'll, uh, I'll know. Wow, we overcharged like a champ. See, man, if I could do the attack up now, and we got crit chances now too, I, I probably should have still saved it. I really wish I didn't cast that Gus when I did though, that, that we're going to lose a turn because of that. I think she might be able to do this on NA even, but absolutely on JP she can do this. Still 80k. Damn, we got that crit there too. It's just pretty damn good for a two star. Yeah, Guts is wore off. If I just cast it one turn later, I think we would still lose because she's kind of out of gas now. But uh, <coughs> that would have been a pretty good performance. Alright, do this card first because of the counter attack. Baldi can do this, but it's very hard. It's very hard. You need very good luck. You need to play it properly, and you need good luck. Funnily enough, I did it my first try, but I just got unbelievably lucky on my first try. 
Like Cairo did it, and it took forever, and like just getting the RNG right. And I just ha I just got miracle luck the first time I did it, and I beat it first try. But I could tell that I was getting lucky. She, if things had gone a bit better there, she could probably have gotten to like 140k, I think. That's about, and on JP though, she definitely could beat it. Okay, who are we gonna do next? We got, I, I guess Jalter. Oops, I killed the music. And if I remove you, by all means, send me an invite later, right? I'm just doing that so the new people can get in a bit smoother. Zaw, what is that? That's a level 80 NP5 Yawn. Still gotta do that Rama too. Oh, there's TG. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting kind of coffee. Need to get like a cough drop or something for fix more. I, I should fix more tea because I want to stream for a bit and uh, I think I'm going to need it. Definitely want to do Ozzy again because I, I really do think he can do this. Um, I almost want to do Anniversary Blonde on her because she just gets so much out of critting. It's just going to be kind of hard to know when to cast it. Dude, she, on JP, she can get to like 22,000 attack or something like that. Actually, it might even have been higher than that because she can get to 120 and you can give her, um, what's it called? Victor from another moon or whatever, or another story, or whatever the fuck, you know, the Buster one with 2,400 attack, or Black Grail or any of those. And uh, her attack stat just gets to some looter, I think like 21k or maybe more, it's stupid. Uh, I'll be right back, I'm gonna start fixing some tea here because I think I, I'm gonna need it. Yeah, I, I mapped it out once to see what her attack got to, and it, it, it was a good bit over 20k.
I have returned. Oh, Jalter's animations, dude. They are, uh, they are something. They're sprite. Like, look at that! Like, bobblehead. Ugh, not good hands. Let's see, she needs five NP gain to get her NP. Do I think she can get five off a quick card? So I do a quick chain? Yes. If I don't, you do the art quick quick, but I think she can do it. Oh my, oh thank god the passive. Oh my god, she didn't do it, but the passive ma uh, made it enough. Holy crap. Okay. Like I cast this and see where the crits go. And then I might use the star bomb. Hmm. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. We're gonna guts the NP then. Do I art art? Nope, fuck that. Nope, fuck that. It st sucks that the Buster cards got so little, but no, she is all about the Buster crit. Oh my god, 50. Look at this. Look at this. We have, mm, we have 45 stars, okay? You need 50 to hit the crit cap. So we are missing a, a five stars of crit. So that it's, that's 50%, but it's you know spread out in increments of 10, right? So essentially you have five negative crit stars. That's essentially what this is, right? And those five negative crit stars are going two cards, right? And every single one of them, every single one of them went to the fucking buster card, right? Like, it, it couldn't be like, you know, the quick gets 80, you know, the, the buster gets, you know, 90, and art, you know, like, express, no, no, no. Every one of them went to that one buster card. Well, uh, just crit forehead. We got double buster up, attack up, crit up, first card buster bonus, buster chain bonus. I think there's some command codes in there too. Did not land the buff block. That actually sucks. Yes! Oh, sweet damage! Holy... See that, man, and people say Jolter is bad. Get out of here. You know, I actually might guts right now. Yeah, I just guts right now. Just in case she, like, triple busters us or whatever. And Because we might win right now. And if I don't, I'm definitely winning next turn. That was actually really easy. <laughs> yeah, jolts are kind of good. And that massive overkill on that turn. That was impressive. By the way, she got buffed on JP, so she's even stronger than that now. And she could, like I said, apply the buff block, and so all kinds of bosses that helps against. Lost, are you making her 120? on uh, JP. Because that performance will be insane. And if she ever gets an animation update, you're going to be so ready. Oh, you've already got MP6. Nice. That would be the hard part, though. Okay, so lost. If they rated her up, let's say she gets an animation update and she's in an event, uh, and she's you know, rated up, or, or would you roll for more MP ranks? Because what's sad is you'll, you, I think you still have to. Unless she's like Bond 15, I'm pretty sure you have to. Oh, wow. That's a fun one. How, uh, how upgraded is this? Almost 2k full. He is definitely not doing it, though, because no offense to Lubu, but his solo toolkit is kind of trash. But uh, you know what? That is so unique. We'll give that a go. But sadly, he, he is definitely not winning. 
Lubu is not a master of uh of solos. You need Bond 13? Well, it's not as bad. I mean, it's still bad, but I, it wouldn't shock me if Lost has Bond 13 or something. She's Bond 12 now. Nice. You only air quotes need to be six. It just, just get another five star. Guys, it's just one copy. You know, just, you already got MP5. It's just one copy of a five star. You know, you just hit the safety net. There you go, no problem. Don't you guys have wallets? Okay, I really do need to use that Taiga. You gotta respect the, uh, the, the big tiger there. Lou Boo with Anniversary Blonde. It's good for the damage, but because of his defense up, it might be awkward actually lining up the... the guts. I could just use it on the NP turn though, potentially. Let's try that. At least when they do 120, they do update the dailies, so uh, they give a lot more XP. And they did, they did just give out a bunch of fucking XP. Basically, they gave out a bunch of five-star embers for each chapter you cleared in the main story, and they gave them out retroactively, and they last in your mailbox forever. And if you beat all the main story, you got over a thousand of them. So that does help. But it's still nasty. Getting 120 is not easy. It is, it, it takes effort. Hmm. Yeah, the passive is really what gets you. It's 120 per. It's 360 for all your passives. Some units are lucky, though, and like one of their passives is completely pointless, but uh, most units still want to get all three, even if the third passive is a minor bonus. But in some cases, it's a really big bonus. I kind of want to attack up here because that's this is perfectly reasonable. Man, I actually kind of want to do his third skill. Because then the Star Absorb actually kicks in, but then I'm wasting my NP up. Let me look at this. Can we get Lancer Lu Bu, by the way? So he can, like, betray the shit out of us? Oh yeah, Lu Bu's a day one character. His NP up is 30%. I probably can't waste that. And with 24 stars, it's still not like that guaranteed that I'm gonna crit, so I think we just do this. But yeah, Lu Bu's animation update was pretty swell. I'll take one crit. Let's see. So, uh, we, we don't need to debuff clear that though. Like, there's there's no point. Because this has a 500% chance to apply, so it's going to apply no matter what. So it don't matter. Now, um, if NA wasn't like that for a long time, JP was. JP's been like that for years and years and years and years. NA's only had that for like a year, and I'm maybe not even a year. Uh, it was like bugged for so long. I would I would have cracked up if that had uh, failed. By the way, because for so long in NA it, it didn't work. But thankfully, when they added Mori, they fixed it because it really matters for Mori. Damn, his crit spread sucks. I gotta put this in slow mo. I think at NP7, you have to get, at least get them to bond 10, I think, for a 5-star. That is very respectable damage for a 3-star, and he's not getting the Berserker bonus, right? He's not doing the counterclass thing. 
Actually, if he was getting his Berserker bonus, she would be dead right now. Holy crap, if he had crit with that other one, I actually think he would have won this. That's pretty wild. Also, if he had proc the stun, but uh, that's not too likely. Now, I could go for NP gain, and we might get another NP. But it's the last turn of our buster up, or our attack up, and so doing DDB is really nice. I'm gonna do it anyway, though. I think this is worth trying. Mm, his gain rate's not as good as I was thinking. A lot of Berserkers actually have really good gain rate on their art card, but he really didn't. This is definitely winnable by him, though. Absolutely. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Oh, he did get it, though. That's good. Can we get enough damage here? If we if we stun, we absolutely win. Uh, but I'm not sure he's got quite enough. So I didn't actually need to do that combo. I could have done, like, Buster Buster Art or something, and I still would have gotten my MP, and she'd have less health. And that might have actually made the difference. Oh, shit! Chat, I think this might get a video. That's actually... That, that's surprising. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised. Because he's at neutral. He's not getting all those cool benefits that you normally would get on a, on a Berserker. That, that's, that's, I'm really surprised by that. Because, like, when you look at how, like, you know, Deer Mid and stuff was doing and everything, and, and three stars obviously have lower stats, like, that's... That's pretty good. I think that might get a video. Because I haven't made a lot of Lubu videos. He's got the awesome animation update, and that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I think I might record that tonight if I can get, get the unit to show up and everything. I think that's pretty worthy of a video. Uh, by the way, that man was all muscle. Great bio. Yeah, Lubu absolutely needs an MP upgrade. That's like so. That's a, such a fair way to balance him against Mori. And I think that would just really make his kit feel good. Like that's all he really needs. That's the that is probably the most surprising thing that's happened today. Like I, I've seen, I've had a few solos here. That's a big caster coup. I've, I've had a few solos here that I've been surprised by. That I didn't think they would win and stuff. But that's definitely the one that surprised me the most. That's crazy. All right, I think I'm supposed to solo with one from this list now. Gonna do bigger Emiya. Get Making the stun guarantee... I mean, honestly, that would make Lubu one of the best three stars. Like, that would put him up there with David and Ku and stuff. And that's fine. I don't mind. I mean, Lubu deserves to be really strong, so I don't I don't mind if Lubu is suddenly one of the best three stars in the game. But it, it would make him insanely good if he always stunned. Uh, I, I still don't think he'd actually be as good as Ku or David, because some bosses are immune to that, or it's going to get resisted, and stun is nice, but it's not always that good, and it's not like he's going to spam his NP without the help of, like, Vinch and stuff. So overall, it'd be fine. I don't, I don't think it'd be a big deal, but it would be very powerful. Like, that, that would make him a hell of a... Of a and he's up there with Ushi and all that. I feel like this is somehow a trick to try to get me to say that the, you know, the, the forbidden phrase, but I don't see how it could be, but uh, I'm very wary of you all, chat. I had a friend that almost got me to say it, by the way. Like, they've just kind of casually watched my stream and they know about it and they almost got me to say it. But I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't let that shit happen. Okay, I gotta respect the dedication. I gotta, you gotta, that's a lot of effort for such a pet unit, so. Um, God, what do I even give her? 10,000 health. She is just gonna die. I guess default. Oh, boy. Hey, it's not, I'm not, chat, I am not the one that made her a one star. I would have made her like a two star. I don't think I would ever, if I was in charge of this stuff, I don't think I would ever make a DPS one star. Like, it's, it's just dumb. 
Like, because two is still rough, but it, it can work, right? If you like the unit and you grail them, it, it works out. But one star is the one star is when they're completely maxed. Two K foe, level one hundred. They feel like like a vanilla level eighty. Nobody want, no one wants to put all that effort into a unit and have it feel like a vanilla four star, right? You know, you want them to at least feel like a ninety four star or something. The thing is, Kodro is the best, and he's the one that gets away with it. But look, look at what they had to do to justify that. They had to buff him 90 billion times, and, and his toolkit is insane, right? Like, if, if, if Kodro was a three-star, he would be ridiculous, right? And, and if he was a five-star, he would be ridiculous, right? His toolkit is crazy, and it's balanced because he is a one-star, but, like, that's just, like, that's so, it's so silly that they had to go through all those hoops. Uh, do I cast her evade now? If I did a, a, done Atlas, I would say yes, but because I didn't, I think I at least wait one turn. Nice opening hand, though. I should have I should have brought Atlas because she has guts gutsy e. Yeah, Grail stats are just completely linear, but that's actually good that they, they did it that way. It actually benefits low stars that it's linear, because if you Grail everything in the game to a, a, a hundred, one stars gain the most, right? Like if you use let's say you were testing units or doing buff stacking or whatever, and you did everyone in their default, right? No one's Grailed. The, the gap between like one stars and five stars is going to be huge. But then you grail everyone to their maximum and that gap actually uh, closes the most between one stars and five stars because five stars get the least and one stars get the most. Now, one stars are so far behind that they're still not like doing better than the five stars. Like absolutely not. But uh, the, the, the gap does close by like a disproportionate amount. Overall, I feel like three stars though are in the best place because they're strong enough when they're not grailed and sure they don't get as much out of grails as one stars do but they still get a lot right they still get 30 levels that's still a lot uh and and they're generally their toolkits and stuff are powerful enough that they can work with those stats really well and so yeah three three stars feel really good when you grail them generally with a few exceptions like you know i don't know <clears throat> jin k but uh you know most of them are in good shape grail thunder face is just crazy All right, now we cast the first skill. Yeah, that, that's looking pretty good, Hex. Yeah, I'll, I'll add that to FFC when I get the chance. And we'll probably put it on the Discord too. I think people will like that a lot. All right, art up, art up, art up, art up, yeah. At least we're in her best timeline so far. She even got her NP when she had zero starting NP, so that's quite nice. This crit spread is not nice though. 50, 60, 10, 10, 70. And the 10, 10 is the only two cards we care about. Yeah, that's really good, Hex. That's very good. 95k? Please don't murder me here. Uh, even though I'm gonna whiff the heal boost, I think I have to heal now. And lost with... Oh, it's gifted sub to, to Hex. He, I didn't even realize he uh, didn't have one. Hell, I should have done that. Because he, he does enough for for me that... Uh, I should be the one doing that. But thank you, Lost. We almost looped right there, which would have been really nice. I'll do the art art just because uh, we have art up and we want damage. At least I'll still have my art up for the next one. She's got good fashion though, chat. She's got the hat, cool dress and everything. It's not bad. See ya, Fury. But, well, I might just use him tomorrow then if you want to see it live, because I, I, I can't get to everyone today anyway. But I'm definitely going to use Ozzy again, because I really do think he can do it. Like, I, I think he can wreck it if he just gets, like, that first couple of turns to line up right. Yeah, if Luvia had her Pearson vulnerability buff, this would be a very bad time. 
Wouldn't matter for Martha, though. Literally wouldn't care. Damn. No! Stop, you bitch! I so easily could have gotten one more turn out of my guts there. And Zert with the gifted sub and the resub, dual wielding over here. Thank you for the support, man. Let me see. Well, we're dead, so... Art does more damage, but slight chance to crit. I guess we'll take the guarantee. 30% is not enough anyway. Too far. I don't know about that. I, I think killing Charlotte like that was going too far, chat. Whose side are you on here? I thought y'all liked Charlotte. Well, res respectable, uh, all things considered. I actually didn't expect her to get quite that far. I mean, we could have gotten one more turn, and that one more turn would have been an NP. So she absolutely is not winning, but... Winning side. Oh, there's so many things to pick from, and we got the David, we got a Kastriku there, we got, uh, I mean, we got Fuma, I mean, oh, I, I gotta do Nightingale, we gotta do the Luvia Mirror at some point, we obviously gotta do Akita, I mean, basically all of these need to be used, it's just, uh, there's so many. That one's pretty interesting, right there. I wonder which one is better, the, the, the one that cannot be named or autos. Uh... So many bits, what the hell is happening right now? Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's impressive. That That's that's an N NP5 Joan of Arc, and you don't see those very often. Um, and he's even got the heal boost command code. Now, I will say, you don't want Prism Cosmos in a solo. No way, but... Uh, you want either defense up or heal boost, like, uh, made in Halloween, but, like, a defense boof, boost is pretty good, or art up, like, um, formal craft. Formal craft is actually really good. But this thing is actually kind of a monster. When you're MP5 with her and she's got that massive defense up, combined with all the other bullshit that she does, it's crazy. We'll have to use this at some point. This Maybe not on this stage, just because this stage is actually really bad for her, because she loses her, uh, you know, taking so little damage thing. But that is crazy. And Chaos, thank you for the 28 months. That is a long time. I can't believe how many people, like, have been subbed to me that long, dude. It's wild. Alright. Let's go Rama. He doesn't get enough screen time out there. I think I need to remove a few people that I've used. Hard to keep track of everything. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Lubu because I, I think I'm gonna make that a, a video. Like that's, that's too good. All right, this is fine for now. Oh yeah, I got so, so many units worth playing around with here. I almost want to do Anniversary Blonde, and say with the 400 bits, when is the scam train? I mean, all the time. I'm actually surprised Say's pinced it as well as it did, like that, that was pretty good. Default or Anniversary Blonde. Let's go Anniversary Blonde because he needs to crit to get max value out of all of his skills. I mean, you can send an invite anytime I add someone because it goes from 20 to 19. So if you're kind of, what you got to do, it sucks, but what you got to do if you really want to get in is you got to already have the invite ready to be sent. And then when you see me add someone, then you send it. But, you know, it's only one slot at a time, so it's pretty rough. Let's see here. Oh, 
I like Rama's animations, they're cool. Slight part of me wants to quick chain. But if we didn't crit next turn, it would be such a waste. And I was hoping that one would crit. Besides, we get to remove the defense buff there, and that's worth it. Hmm. Might do my second skill. Unless I want it to hit two NPs, then I should definitely not. It's hard to do that with Rama, though, especially with the CE that or MC that we brought. Yeah, I think I just use it now. Make as many stars as possible. Probably should have done the other Buster card. That thing was so unlikely to crit. So we'll have 30 stars. It's not the best. Fifty ninety though. All right, let's see what he does. If only she was a demon. Woo, boy, that was not the best. The got the crits though. Damn, that did well. His NP did less than Charlotte's, but in total, he just did more damage than Charlotte did in the entire fight. Boy, that's a feeling right there. I don't know why they put the heal on the guts, dude. That is just so backwards. All right, I'm gonna try this. If I, because I'm doing it this, though, I probably shouldn't have cast Charisma when I did. She does her highest hit count, we might get our NP here. Damn! And because I'm gonna get this turn either way, I should've just done damage on that turn. Damn, that really sucked. Um, do damage now. Yeah, that last turn when I had Charisma there, I should've done a damage -y combo. Strangely, I actually think he can do this. I don't think we're doing it right now, but he's only NP2. And he's doing this well, and I actually made uh, several mistakes. So, I'm kind of surprised. Good burst damage, I guess. So many nickels being thrown at me right now. Wow. Yeah, it's winnable. Didn't really expect that from Rama. The gut CE worked pretty well for him, I would say. Yeah, Rama's pretty cool. Toss a coin to your streamer. Not just not a nickel. Don't don't do that. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. I don't think she even has her... Yeah, she doesn't have her third skill buff yet. I I'm not gonna lie, Rabbit. At no point... You know, what was it like, I don't know, four years ago now... That I think bringing up the fact that I think nickels are dumb, which they are, was going to result in my stream forever throwing nickels at me, right? I did not, I did not plan that. I don't think a lot of people would think of that. I mean, it's a pretty passing thing to talk about, you know.
But I, I, I say, nickels do suck, right? Like, they're, they're, they're like, oh, I'm silver. Like, they're worthy of being up there with dimes and quarters. And for some reason, it's bigger than a dime. But it's, it's fucking five cents. That's such a worthless amount of money, right? Like, quarters and dimes are enough to actually get somewhere. Who the fuck uses a nickel, right? What a joke. It's bastardizing its color. Okay. And see, like, pennies at least get to be cool in that they're unique, right? They're, they're very, they're really unique in their, their coloring and everything, right? <clears throat> and of course, I, everyone just throws nickels at me now, because, you know, that's how these things go. Chat, you're just pissing off the VOD viewers, right? They gotta listen to all these stream notifications for your, your nickels. Well, yet again, another unit not getting a particularly good hand. They don't suck, you suck. I'm sure someone out there actually likes nickels, but I think my cha I think my chat has championed the nickel because they they have like the maturity of a child, right? It's it's like the you know well he likes it, so I, you know nah, 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 right? Like that's they're like they're being schoolyard bullies is what I'm getting at here. Hello, waters, yep. Yeah. Do I art up? I'm gonna say yes, because we have two art cards. And you know what? I'm gonna do this too. Wait a minute. Is she Roman though? Yeah, she is Roman. Damn, it's a shame we don't have like a damaging NP. How about that? My chat is full of spam right now. It's really hard for me to keep up with any of this. I, I really should change my bit notifications, especially for five cents. I feel like that needs to have a unique thing at this point. All right, I'm going to use my attack up next turn because I'll have my attack up, my art up, and all that. So I'm actually, for the memes, I kind of want to do quick quick in case I happen to be able to crit next turn, but that's so unlikely. We'll take the, well... Memes though. If these had Star Bomb on it, I would definitely like. If these had Star Bomb and the art ones had Star Absorb, I would definitely do Quick Quick. But I think you take advantage of the art up while you've got it and the three of a kind bonus. It kind of helps make up for your NP not doing any damage. Yeah, okay, just crit with the arts, easy. Chat. Normally, I'm really sad when I don't have the animation update from JP. I'm not really sad for Bodica. Like. And I hate that because Bodica deserves better. Bodica's pretty cool, right? You know, she's got a sword and a shield, you know? You know, smack people, shoot lasers, it's nice. But, uh, yeah, her fucking. I, I, that really did suck, like, how bad her animations were. Like, what a waste. Oh, I'm sorry. When I said earlier she didn't have her buff, I meant she didn't have her uh, second skill buff, the uh, gut. So I'm getting her skill placement mixed up. Do I guts now? Yeah, I guess. Could have waited one turn, potentially. All right, double attack up, art up. Anti-Roman damage. Oh boy. Do I NP here, even though... Yeah. Probably never NP again, though. Give her a Santa costume. It would be very thematic, but I don't think they're gonna bother. I am surprised though they put so little effort into her animation update because she is a uh, waifu. So I thought they would, you know, care more. But I guess waifu or not, everyone already has her, so they're not gonna make money either way. Okay. Don't have art up here, so I'm actually gonna quick quick. I actually might do my NP again next turn, but I don't think so. I, don't, I, don't, I think losing out on the card is worse than gaining the effect of the NP. Yeah, because I died here anyway, so yeah, there's definitely no point. Uh, art art it is. Not bad, though. 
That would... Even at 120, I'm not sure she could do that. I don't know. Maybe, oh, actually, the thing is, by the time you're 120, though, you're going to have better command codes, and that could really matter, and you could have a better CE and such, so maybe, but that ain't great. All right, there's someone I need to remove that I added for space. Who was it? Oh, there we go. Feels bad, though. Rama's pretty cool. Oh, man, we're really filling out that, that friends list quick. I feel bad. It's really hard for people to get in here. The big melt. I think that's the new one. Got a big shiki there. I don't got a... Okay, I don't have a lot of time left, so we'll do Nightingale because that's pretty damn unique. I actually wonder if she would do best with the defense CE just because of her skill. I don't know. He definitely is going to want the heal boost command code, which she has. Very good. <laughs> uh, the CE. I see, I see what you're doing. She's good with Atlas, but she's good with default too, especially with that heal boost. But I think we do Atlas. It makes sense. Her skill is pretty strong. Almost 18,000 health. Yeah, Caligula did get a better update than Okita. I, I don't know why they put so little effort into Okita. She didn't even get a full animation update. There's like a half one. I guess they figured they weren't going to get much money out of her anymore. I don't know. Sucks. Maybe with Redline, they'd give her another one. I mean, money's the reason a lot of the time. I mean, these companies are very calculating that, unfortunately, that stuff dictates a lot. I've talked this before, I think the reason Caligula got a good animation update is because he was supposed to be added in 5.2 and then they, they didn't have time, they didn't finish it. And they ended up adding it later, and so they had so much time to work on it that they just, they were able to make it better. Like, here's the thing, a they've said this in an interview, they try to make animation updates, like, match when the, the, when the unit is relevant, they've said that. And Caligula got his animation update for no reason. He, it was not, it was part of nothing. He just randomly got an animation update, but it was just a little while after 5.2. So I very much think they were trying to get Caligula's animation update in 5.2 because Caligula is very prominent in Lost Belt 5.2. And I think for just whatever reason, you know, it didn't get done in time or they made room for other things and it got cut. I mean, just, that's normal for game development. That stuff just happens. And, but I think they had done work on it. They, they, it wasn't like they'd done nothing. They, it just wasn't done and then they cut it. And then they just add, because they literally added it for no reason. They almost never do that. So I very much think they had just missed when they wanted to do it. And that's why I got added so randomly. And because though it had been so long, they had plenty of time to, they didn't have to rush it. They had no, they had no reason to be like, oh, we got to get this out in time. Because like sometimes they do animation updates and they got to make sure it's out in time to match the event timing or the main story timing. And that means they might, you know, have to go faster than they would like. And that means corners get cut, especially for things that aren't as popular or aren't going to get rated up or or, or, or or so old people already have the unit and stuff like that. But I think Caligula got kind of lucky there. But it's kind of random because it's like, it's just workflow stuff. Like, I think that's what it is. It's just workflow stuff. And workflow stuff is always going to be affected by money. I mean, like, guys, don't... The, the world is not so virtuous that money is not going to affect these things. Of course it is. Like, when, when you have scheduling issues when you're working on a, a new event or a, a new main story, and if something has to get cut, you're not going to cut the thing that you think is going to be the most profitable. You're not going to do that. The higher-ups won't let you. It, business does not work that way. It just doesn't, right? And it's sad to say, but, like, it's not always about artistic integrity at all. And, uh, you know, DW, Anaplex, and Titan Moon are all businesses... And if they're working on a story or an event and, and something's got to get rushed, it's going to be the thing that they care about the least or that, that's going to make them the least money, right? Like if Bodica could have been released during a, a time of the year where like their, their artists weren't being rushed, it probably would have been fine. It's not like they sat there in a meeting and are like, oh guys, fuck Bodica, don't put any effort into an animation update. It's more like, okay, we have to do this. We got to make sure the UI is ready. We got to make sure the event's up for, in time for the update and all this stuff. And you know, the things, corners get cut. And, you know, Bodica is something that's pretty easy for them to cut corners on because, you know, she's a three-star, and although she's somewhat popular, she's not that popular, and so it just happens. But then you might have another event 
where they're just not crunched like that, right? The workflow is just going better and they're working on an animation update and they've got enough time. Hell, maybe they have excess time and so it ends up looking good, right? So, you know, business is complicated, but money always affects it. Time is money. You know, personnel costs money. You can't just hire artists, right? They're, it costs money to do that. So, uh, you know, a lot of bullshit happens as a result of that. And animation updates are not created equal. I mean, that's very obvious. And if you look at, like, the effort put into a brand new five star that they're going to make the most money off of versus to an animation update to give to some, you know, random unit or the welfares, just when they make new welfares, the animation quality of the welfares to give out is absolutely not on par with the animation quality of like other you know new units like not even close like a lot of it's all the welfares are like paper mache spam right they don't even do that much animating for them and they only have one ascension right instead of three and, and stuff like that uh you know these things are not coincidences it is the money like companies like to try to put on a front like they want you to think you know they're your your bud and uh you know they're they're just you know they're just having fun and making this thing like they're selling you something right and sure there's a few exceptions there are a few companies out there that really are abnormal and you know aren't quite as uh, cutthroat and whatnot but they're normally not your triple a company so they're not it's not anaplex right sony and anaplex are about as businessy as you can get right there, there's no uh artistic integrity there now, they might hire and work with artists that have artistic integrity, but those artists have to work within the restraints of that company. And I have friends that are artists, and they will tell you this in a heartbeat. You know, they may have artistic integrity, but when you get hired by a big company, you, you what you have to do is you have to try to do the most, the best you can within the confines of, of like, what the company is making you work with, right? And a lot of times artists aren't happy with those restrictions, but sometimes they're still able to put out something they're proud of. It just depends, right? Um, but yeah, business world can be, uh, kind of shit. Look at that triple 100% crit, by the way. That's pretty lucky. Alright, Luvia, please don't just melt me. Now, I've got my heal boost, so I think I just heal with that and I save my skill heal. It's either that or I... Heal. No, I, I do that. I, I don't think I, I don't cast anything. I should be able to face tank this with just my NP. I can heal boost before my NP, but I don't think I need to. Yeah, the bed. I, I just wish the bed animation was rare. It's a little too silly for her to use it basically every single time you do an extra attack. So I wish it was like, you know, a 25% chance to happen or something. Luvia shouldn't do any damage because she's got the giant NP down, attack down, and then we have our defense up, so she shouldn't do anything. Her normal attacks might do a little bit, though, because that's only got the attack down. Wow, I'm surprised. Oh, is that? Hmm. I'm surprised she did that much. That's definitely not Divinity. I I'm really surprised she did that much. Is, is our attack down not as big as I'm thinking? Let me look this up. I thought her attack down was 50%. Although she's- I wonder if it's this. No, 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 because that's not the purple thing the other guys have. Like, the other, other enemies here get, like, that bonus damage. But that, that's just the uh, class thing. Uh, let's see. So, she's got the 50% attack down, 50% NP down. I have no idea why we took so much damage there. Because we had a 50% a attack down, a 50% NP down, and we had a 25% defense up. Actually, no, yeah, 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 25% 20, defense up. I have, I have no idea why we took damage. All right, we do the heal, though. Now the, the damage mod shouldn't matter. Yeah, maybe it's the anti-evil. Um, is Nightingale evil? No, 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 she's lawful good, so it's not that. And I wouldn't think that would work that way anyway. I, I, I'm actually at a loss. I don't know where that damage came from. Because I'm looking at she's got a 50% attack down, 50% NP down, and then 25% defense up. The only way that, you know, it's like, was she not humanoid? Like, that don't make no sense. Yeah, there could be an under the hood thing, like, for the boss. They do that sometimes. Like, maybe her divinity is way bigger or something. I don't know. But she did 4,000. There's no way her divinity is that high. Sheer, sheer willpower. I'm actually curious what the hell happened there. Like, that's pretty strange. I think I can do just one art card here. Hi. 
23k. 31k. Nightingale doing pretty good. Woo, double crit up and crit damage up. Ooh. I think I got an NP here so I don't explode. Do I want to do the heal boost? Yeah, I think I do the heal boost first now. Try to get back to full. I gotta keep in mind that she can guard like that, so in the next one we're definitely gonna do uh, invulnerability. I'm not sure I actually cast this because I'm only going to get two turns out of it. But I think I need it because I could just die if I don't have it. It's unfortunate, but gotta do what you gotta do. And the damage up is good anyway. You know, we didn't talk about Nightingale when we were talking about Winter, like servants if, they, if their clothes had to be used in Winter. And uh, Nightingale's actually looking pretty good there. She's got multiple layers. There's probably something underneath the coat, like the, the uniform. Um, so at least three layers there because she's got the big coat uh, that she could put around herself as well. So uh, yeah, she's actually pretty prepared there. Not as Definitely not as prepared as some of the other characters that we saw, but uh, that's not bad. Okay, we want to... Let me think. I mean, if I land the debuffs, we could actually face tank again, but if I missed one, we could potentially die. She has a bed. Yeah, there's that. Hmm. So I don't have the heal boost right now. I could do art NP art, though. I could just do invulnerability and wait, although I don't, I don't like waiting. I think what I do is I heal without the heal boost, and I do the heal boost and potentially use it on the first skill. I don't like invulnerability there though, because if we do happen to land both debuffs, it's like completely wasted. If I'd had more health, I would have risked it, because I might have been able to face tank if one of the debuffs failed. Okay, well, that worked out. I actually think we want a different CE. Uh, I, I don't think we want the damage. I think we want something that either helps us loop heals us for more or gives us like a defense up because if we had a defense up we're just so tanky that she's just not going to kill us or hell even a debuff success chance because that would make up for the goddess essence because she doesn't have magic resist it's just the goddess essence look at us almost looping that would have been amazing if i had looped there okay full damage we still might win though it's going to be close it is absolutely winnable though. If you find the right CE and all that nonsense, this is so winnable because we're really close. All right, we got to win before she NPs again, which means we can use RNP just for normal card damage. Like for not taking as much normal card damage. Ooh, that's not good though. All right, after this turn, it's just, it's buster for days. Actually, I think we can win next turn. I think that's the goal. Maybe I should have actually done Buster NP Buster. That might have been right. Even with the three of a kind bonus, I think that would have been right. And I don't see the... I, there's no need for NP gain. Yeah, I think I should have done Buster NP Buster because I had Buster up. Don't like that art up. Ooh, crit. She can definitely kill us this turn, so we got to kill her now. Sixty K. Think it's just out of our range. We could definitely survive. Oh, the crit though feels good. Easy Nightingale win. That was pretty cool. I like that. That's fun gameplay right there. Okay, I think we do one more. I think we do one more. Uh, but we'll do more tomorrow for sure. Fun gameplay in my FGO. Can't have that now.
That was quite cool, dude. I uh, I like that. Could do proto coup just because uh, it's a coup. I don't think he can win. I actually think he m probably can win on JP because on JP um, that that buff is pretty big. And with like Baldi being able to do it and Izo being able to do it, I could see the buff proto coup being able to do it. But I doubt he can do it right now. I don't know. We'll see. He's still got a good toolkit. <laughs> uh, Caesar's great, man. Oh, does he have his NP buff on um on an A? Yeah, he does because it's yellow. That's when he gets the big boy damage. I've ever I've actually never seen a like a level 100 2k foed Caesar that's 10 10 10 and, and with the NP buff I've never seen it and now I guess you could go 120, but I haven't seen either of them Oh, it's yellow cuz NP5 Oh, yeah, 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 cuz Lubu doesn't have it. That's weird that they make skills yellow, but the NP doesn't work that way you know, half goes UI, it's all very consistent, you know, showing that NPs gain from the first card bonus and the chain bonus when they actually don't, you know, it's very professional that. Almost seven years, by the way, and they've never fixed it. I, uh, I'm, I'm not getting Caster Coup. The arrow doesn't always matter though. Like, look, God, why, do, why am I having to explain this? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Look, their skills are yellow, and you can't even see arrows here. And, and there's literally, it is beyond ridiculous to act like this isn't a, a conflict of like the UI, right? Like, this is clearly a, a you know inconsistent UI design here. Like, upgrades show as yellow. There's no reason why it being yellow here shouldn't indicate it being upgraded. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, 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 you need it to be yellow for NP5. Like, you don't know 5 is the cap. Like, that matters for, like, day one of playing the game. So, uh, Caster Coup is dead. There we go. Alright, uh, definitely Atlas for him. I really don't understand though why they uh, why they haven't fixed the like it's showing the first card bonus applies to NPs and all that. It even shows that it applies to NPs before you select the card, right? Like it's crazy. And they just made a minor update to the command card UI. I mean, it's it's pretty meaningless, but like they did something and they still didn't address it. Oh yeah, no animation update. It feels bad. At least we got the NP though. We should be fine on NP gain now. <laughs> well, we definitely got our NP now. Don't even need scaths uh, on death effect. The command card update just made like the stuff play faster. It basically goes into speed up mode when a brave chain happens or a pretty of a kind chain happens, right? Like that little flash that happens when the cards are selected, it just rushes through that really quickly. Um, like once you've selected all the cards, you know, it, it like, I don't, it's hard to explain because I don't think anyone thought that screen was too slow as is. So it's like, what the hell are you even talking about? But yeah, look at this. Look, I click a quick card and my NP gets a, a, a green aura around it, indicating that it, it gains you know, the, the better star gen and all that, and as, as do the normal cards, but it doesn't, like, it's a lie. It doesn't actually, you see the red from the buster, say, you know, blue from the art? Nope. And if you do a chain, it, it literally will show that it's benefiting from the chain and everything. And it's actually worse than that. Um, like, if I do this buster card, look, it show. look, look at this. All cards gain, like, the effect attack up. It says that. And you can't really see unless it's select another card, but it will literally show it on the card when it's selected. Look right here. I, I, I think I can pick the NP and it'll show it. Yeah, look, it says attack up 
It lit. The UI is literally saying the NP is gaining attack up. It is, but it's it's that's it doesn't. That's it, that's false, right? And this we are seven years into the game, and it still is. It's still lying like that. It's that's insane, right? Look, if I do this, uh, it says all cards you know gain the effect of of star drop up. And if I click this, it uh, actually weirdly it still shows attack up. That's that's oh, I actually have no idea why it, it does that because I think if you click. Now that shows in- oh, what that's showing- okay, that's still just as dumb. So it, this is showing that because it's in second place. That plus- it, that plus is there because it's in second place. And if I click another card, it's gonna show two pluses because it's in third place. And it's the same thing for this. If I- I can't do it because if I put this in third place, the chain starts. But it's saying it does more attack because it's in second place. But it, that's, that's also wrong. It does not do that. And if I- I clicked- this card, and then I clicked the NP, it would show two pluses, saying it does even more damage for being in third place. But that, that's just wrong. And, like, the reason it's so bad is because this is the day one UI. They have not changed this in any way since day one. And, um, you know, day one, they had no idea what they were doing. And I'm serious. I think it's a bug that, like, the, that the NP doesn't benefit. Look, you can see the aura. That aura indicates that it's, you know, it's benefiting. And it says all cards, right? That includes the NP. Uh, I think the reason that NPs did not benefit from the first card bonus was just a mistake. And then, but they realized, you know, like, months into the game that it would be so busted if they did benefit from it, so they didn't, they didn't ever change it, but they've never fixed it. They never fixed any of this stuff, because this isn't even right! Like, look at this. When you, when you do this, and it's showing that plus, which means its NP gain is better, that's wrong! Because being in second place makes everything better. It makes all, all aspects of this card stronger. It's not just the NP. Uh, obviously the NP is the most noticeable thing, because it is an art card. But like so much of the UI is just wrong. It is objectively wrong. And it's because they didn't give a fuck and they didn't know what they were doing day one. I doubt they even knew, right? Like I'm serious, like FGO day one was so bad. DW was a tiny company with no experience, right? Like they had no idea what they were doing. It was a rushed, you know, shovelware game at the time. I don't, I think they intended for like, like the, the, uh, the quick card second. I think they intended for it just to increase the star drop, right? I think that's what they intended, but it actually doesn't, that doesn't, it ups everything. Right, I think it's just a mistake because they didn't know what they were doing. And like, it's just obvious they didn't know what they were doing because like, the gain on some of these things is just so bad, right? Like the amount of star gen you get from having the first card be a quick card, the amount of star gen it boosts the other cards by is so little, it generally won't even make a star, right? So what is the hell is the point of that, right? Meanwhile, this boosts your damage by 50%. That's super significant, right? It, it's just, it's so imbalanced, right? And it's, it's crazy. And it's because they were just like slapping a game together and they didn't even th and like you have all those units day one that had star gen skills right like deer mid deer mids get the star gen skill and uh, I mean, all kinds of units have that you know in the early days of fgo and but the amount of star gen that they get for the hit count that they have generally will mean like one extra star or no extra stars and that's their entire skill that is clearly made by people that don't know what they're doing like because if they actually sat down and tested that because they, they don't they did not even realize like how the, the game calculates stars because if they did, they would have never have made it that way. And because now, now that they know better, they don't make skills like that anymore, right? They, they make gain rates way higher, or they give them higher hit counts, so it actually results in, you know, more stars. But if you actually tested Deer Mid before releasing him, or you tested Arash and all that stuff before day one, you would clearly see that their star gen up skill isn't doing anything. Because the way the percentages work with hit count, it just, it's irrelevant, right? It's completely irrelevant. But again, they were just shoveling the game out. And, you know, fair enough back then, but this is seven years later. How, how have you not fixed this stuff? You don't, you don't need to wait until Deer Mid is in a main story to be like, oh yeah, we should probably fix that skill of his that does nothing. You, you can just fix it, right? You can just change the numbers so it's higher and it actually makes sense. You can just change the UI so it stops showing the stupid glow thing around the NP and it stop, stops showing the little attack up that it's not actually getting. Like, just, just, like... That's not crazy! It's not hard to fix that, and seven years is more than enough time to fix that. And people are always acting like FGO's UI is, oh, it's not that bad, and people are just nitpicking. That, that's not nitpicking. This shit is crazy. Okay, um... I guess art? I could do the Buster card first. Yeah, actually. I don't know, though. We get the Buster card. The Buster up to apply to the Buster card versus the 15% NP up. Uh, I guess the 15% NP up is a little bit better, but it is kind of suboptimal with everything else, so it's not... It basically makes that command code a, a lot less good than it normally would be, just because of the way... Like, because we have a buster NP and such. 
But yeah, when you select those cards and like it kind of makes the chain start happening, that part's like fast forwarded now on JP. And it looks, it's actually really annoying because it's, once you click the third card, it's actually really easy to, like if you're watching somebody or it's in a video and stuff, it's easy to not even know what they picked. Because it goes from, uh, here, let me try to do this in a way that will demonstrate it. So it goes from you being at two cards, right? So you have one card to go. So basically, the, the chain is already happening, right? Because like right as you click this third card, everything from this point on is super sped up. Like that, the third card going up, all of that, that's super sped up. So before you even really see what was selected, the, the chain is already happening. It, it's whack. And I, again, if you wanted to make that optional, that's fine. But I, I don't get why they keep putting that kind of stuff in, like, forced. Yeah, it's not on NA. It's not on J. It's not on NA. It's on JP. Like it's so much faster than what we just saw. Do I anniversary blonde to cast uh, evade now? I don't think so. It's very unlikely though that I'll get to cast it again again. So that means default's better, actually. The way the timing works out here. I think I actually do art art then, and I'm gonna do my first skill. That's nice though. We get the double buster up from the previous NP. It's always nice. Yeah, I'd imagine they did it for farming purposes, and that's why making it optional would be fine. What I would have done is I would have put stuff like that and like that other speed up that they did back in the day with like the jump forward, jump backwards, all that stuff is super sped up. Uh, I would have I would have put that in like the little battle menu thing where you can toggle on uh, like slow mo and fast mode of NPs and all that. I, I would have shown what I was talking about, but it's taking like three years for me to get control of the game here because I started this con like this the sentence when I was just starting my attack and then I have to go through her NP and everything. Uh, this, right? I would put it like right here. All that, all that. Because there's a lot of little speed up stuff JP has done in a lot of weird areas and it looks pretty janky. And if you can just turn it on and off. So you're farming, like, oh, hey, I'm farming right now. I'm gonna go to this menu, turn it, uh, turn it on. And if you're making a video or finding a main story or doing a challenge quest or whatever, then you just click the menu and, and turn it off. And if you accidentally have it on for one turn, you're like, oh, that's not a big deal, right? And I can just change it next turn, right? That, that would be a really good way of addressing it. We get double NP up again, or a buster up again. So for Atlas to be good, I have to live another three turns, and I don't think that's going to happen, so default would be better. Do I want to do art art? Yeah, I think I might, if I get lucky, I might be able to get one more NP out. I have to get pretty lucky here. I need her to do a high hit count. I need her not to kill me next turn, and then I have to get my NP. Sadly, she cast a skill there, so I didn't get as much NP back. There's no way I'm getting value out of Atlas. There's just no way I'm getting... I, I need two turns. Well, I, actually, it might happen. I've got 10k. I just put... Okay, I don't... Uh, nope, nope, not happening. If she had, like, done a skill there... Uh, maybe. Okay, we have a tiny chance if she throws like a champ. Like if she does something really stupid. I guess I'll do that faux card for the tiny heal. If I, I have defense up, I, I, if I can, with, between the defense up and the baby heal, maybe somehow I live. And then I get to do evade. I need her to do like quick, quick and then a skill. That would be ideal. That's Buster. Man, damn. That would have been so cool if we could have gotten our PFA off again. So, uh, yeah, default would have been objectively better there. Because um, I could have healed and actually would have lived there. And we had an attack up. We wouldn't have won. Like, 212 is too much health. But we could have gotten better than that. Okay. It's super late, though. And I got to get some stuff done. I've been going for four hours, so. We'll do this again tomorrow, though. We got a lot more I want to mess around with. Uh, we're not going to stay here forever, but this is a fun place to, to mess about. And I want to go record that Lu Bu thing. That was pretty badass. Uh, let us... raid someone. No Cairo stream, unfortunately. Got uh, Cadroth and Fino. We'll raid Fino. I feel like we haven't done that in a while. 
Looks like he's doing Lost Belt 5, which stands to reason. All right, lads, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for letting me use your units and all the support and the nickels and such. I appreciate it, and I will see you all tomorrow. Unless, of course, you don't want to watch me tomorrow, which then fair enough.